I feel like OBS's desktop audio is too loud. Well, I'll just leave it at that until someone complains. How's it going, everybody? Please notice me, Joseph Senpai. You have been noticed, Rolskew. Notice, notice. The near concert was fantastic. The director and composer of the game was there as well as dozen, uh, dozens of 2B cosplay. Oh man, it sounds like heaven. They even recorded new video and audio for from the games for the concert. That sounds fun. Glad you had a good time. Almost heaven. One million 2Bs. Discord notifications out. How many members are we up to on Discord? Oh, we've gained some since uh, since it came back. Nice, we're almost at 9,000. Very, very close to 9,000. Tomorrow's the date. Yep, so tomorrow, um, the mana coins are worth double. I will also, uh, to, to, to extend, you know, some help to some people that haven't been able to he be here every stream. Uh, there will be a 10,000 mana coin cash in for Yaya tomorrow. Uh, there will also be a 10k cash in for use on literally nothing tomorrow. Um, if you want, but yeah. There will be, there will be extra, extra ones tomorrow. So you don't know what the hell continues? So, um, at my current pace, I think I'm going to be done on Thursday. But, um, like I said on, on Twitter, there's this whole post-production thing that I've never had to do before. And I don't know how long that's going to take. And that doesn't include rendering. So, um, so here's what I'm going to do. Um, today or tomorrow, I don't know which day, I'm going to pause Patreon. And I'm going to do a post on Patreon, so there's not going to be a Patreon fun thing for whatever for February. And... Um, and uh, just in case it takes longer than I think. Uh, I don't know how long it's going to take to do the post-production, but like my estimates have been off so far, so um, we'll see. That's what's going to happen. Can I buy nothing for the half price? What a steal. How could I say no? <laughs> Joe, drop the pretense and don't even bother playing the game for the first hour of the stream. Usually, we we do okay, right? Sometimes there's like a there's like a thirty minute kind of kind of thing where we talk and read subs and stuff like that. Uh, usually, Tuesdays are the are the the worst for that, right? I'm not sure, but we do okay. Yeah, you definitely sound confident and not afraid. I'm terrified. I'm terrified. Like, yeah, I'm a nervous wreck right now. I'm not even lying. I'm a complete nervous wreck. Keeping it together on used bubble gum. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, Q&As are on break at the moment because Kate is, baby Kate is sleep training. Uh, I don't expect everyone to be like caught up on, on Lily and I, I's lives. So uh, we have three kids. Um, the, the the youngest is, is baby Kate and she's currently going through sleep training. Uh, and it's not going horribly, but it's also not going well. Uh, sleep training is when they learn how to self self soothe at night and to actually sleep through the night. Uh, she's actually a good sleeper, but uh, sleeping on a schedule is, is rough and, you know, 
that's usually when the Q&A start happening is after the baby goes to sleep. Um, so yeah, we are, we are, are, are trying this. So yeah, it's, it's not going all the, all that well. So we'll see how, how it goes, but, um, it could be a lot worse. I, I expect that the Q and A's will come back. Let's, let's, let's say if we have two, two, nah, it doesn't have to be two weekends in a row. Um, enough multiple nights in a row without without a big problem so i'm gonna say maybe two weeks the q a's will come back we'll see baby kate's gonna be a weird name for her when she's little. yeah it's it's what finn calls her so it's kind of stuck we, we call her baby kate instead of just kate So long stream's coming back now that Witcher is done, because that means more yeah yeah when it's all completely done, yep. Yeah. The longer streams will come back. I might take a week break though, I haven't decided yet. We'll see. I don't I don't know how it's gonna work. Don't forget to add the lesser amount of coin options for yeah. Yeah, I'll do it tomorrow, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I already I already mentioned that. Yep. Yeah. Thank you. I love your analytical and thoughtful approach. Um, you're not talking about the streams. I do different <laughs> content than gaming, but I definitely take some inspiration for your approach and my own content. Aw, oh, thanks, Night Docs. I wish you all the best with it. Is Vampire still happening at some point? Yep, yep. Uh, Vampire, um, Yakuza, David Cage, Games, um, Ace Attorney. There's there's lots. We'll, we'll get through them pretty quickly, actually, with full-time stream coming back, I'm sure. So if we highlight a message tomorrow, do we get our message double highlighted? I don't know. I think I'm probably going to turn those off. I don't really like those rewards. Um, for modify single emote and choose an emote to unlock, I can just make them half price tomorrow if people really want to do that, but I doubt that they do. It's mostly the the Ayaya metagame that we have. Don't forget to add increase Ayaya fund. No, we're not doing that yet. No bamboozle. No bamboozle. Can you imagine for, first first and only time that there's um that there's double double rewards is also when you add the you can increase the Ayaya fund. <laughs> that would be funny. How long is this game? I want to play it myself, but can't watch. But I want to watch the streams again. Um, I don't know. We're, we're I think we're probably over halfway done. We're playing it really slowly because I have to read everything out loud. Uh, thank you to Zytel three. Satsun, Black Beast of Arg, The Gark, Bill Backstein, Wedia EMB, Game Sucks, Seven Spirits, Ben Snuff, Jaim Jaim G Jim G, not sure, and Barty Ox for subbing while the stream was down. Thank you very much. Black Beast of R managed to get a message through. That usually doesn't happen when, when it subs down between streams, but I'll read it out. Recently moved to Colorado, and your streams have been doing a good job of keeping me entertained while I was packing and unpacking. Love your stuff. Keep up the good work. Aw, oh, thanks, Black Beast of R. Hope that your move went smoothly enough. You know, moving is usually hell, but yeah, glad the streams could do that for you. Uh, since we started, thank you, Ice Vlad, for the 513 sub finish. We were watching Persona 5 streams. Rewatching? Re you watched them twice? Just in time for some disco. Looking forward to Persona 4 and 3. Hope everything is going well, Joe. Yeah, so we're going to play Persona 3 and 4 sometime this year, and then we will finish that off with Persona 5 Royal. We are not streaming Persona 5 Royal when it comes out. Like that. This is just no way. I, this, this is just not enough time. Not going to happen. Um, so. Um, if you're, if you thought that was going to happen, sorry, it's, it's not happening, but we, we will, um, we will stream it eventually. Uh, I, I expect it'll be this year. Yeah. Thank you, Galuth, for the 28 month resub. My mono coins are ready. Ooh. Ooh. I wonder how much we're going to take off AI FM tomorrow. I'm curious. I'm curious. It's just a little carrot for the weebs. They're never going to get it. I'll be surprised if you guys take off 2 million tomorrow. Still got a ways to go. Thank you, the Hasty New, for the 313 sub with JPH Jaawi. Thank you, Hasty New. Thank you, Bobach or Bobok, for the 213 sub Vod Boys Part 2 Electric Boogaloo. 
<laughs> I like the uh, electric boogaloo meme. I don't know why. Uh, thank you, Black Dolphin, for the 513 sub. Hey, hey, JPH Pout, 5 months in Pout Patrol since she did the Pout. I'll give you that one. Thank you, Black Dolphin. And thank you, Arido, Arido Gup, or, 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 or Gape? Arido, I'm not sure. Arido Gup? I, I think I say it wrong every single time for seven three sub. Hey Joe, thanks for everything. Can't wait for the Pokemon Trust and Betrayal stream. <laughs> They'll get there eventually. See all the all the uh, the the angry fanboys about Temtem actually being competition for Pokemon, and they're just like they're just so they're just so mad. It's like don't you understand? It's a good thing. It's a good thing that Pokemon has some competition. Even if you don't like Temtem, even if you really like Pokemon, you should be like, yay Temtem. You know what I mean? Like. It's it's free to play, right? So you should download it and play it, even if you do, even if you prefer Pokemon. I haven't seen, I haven't played Temtem. It looks really close to uh, to Pokemon. All right, so we can talk to this guy, but I don't want to because I don't want to give him information about the. Uh, wow, our head looks really weird. I don't want to tell him that we know that he lied. Um, it's not free. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought it was free to play. I thought I saw it on uh, on Steam recently, and it said free to play. What did I see that was free to play then? I'm sorry for spreading false information. Maybe it's free for me because I'm an influencer. No, it's not. It's it's uh it's forty dollars Canadian. Apologies. I'm sorry. Uh, Assistant Weeby, if you sent in a sub thing, it didn't show up. So if you want to. Um, just type it out in chat right now or paste in chat. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you want to paste in chat, I will, um, I will read it out. Hello, Joseph. You weebs are never getting an Anderson. I never could have imagined the giant troll that hides beneath the mask of a, a polite sorry cop Canadian. Those om omeditos... What? have been echoing in my head for two weeks now. I have silenced the voices by going through your Persona 5 VODs, and even there you have destroyed my heart and reload for Haru VOD. <laughs> Please heal thy wounds by playing Zero Escape. I have not heard the sip in a long time. P.S. Give me some weeb cringe. I haven't had a welcome in three months. Well, three months in, in the... in the Well, more than three months. In the... Um, in the... Waifu Warehouse, the Weebu Wagon, the, oh man, what's the other weeb thing that we had? It's five months. How, how many, how many we had? Wasn't there something like the, the, the Sun, the Sun Deer, the Sun Deer Symposium, there we go. The Ayaya Alliance, oh god, alright, there you go, there you go, the Ayaya, five months in the Ayaya Alliance, there you go. You got it. You got it, weebs. You got it. There's your name. Is the Ayaya Alliance coordinating for tomorrow? I don't know. Got my first exam tomorrow, but your streams have been keeping me calm in the, the past week. Really? <laughs> Well, I'm glad I can calm other people while I'm not very calm myself at all. <laughs> Alright, um, one second. Little, uh, little, little bit erotic for best boy. Wait, Joe, watch JoJo on stream? JoJo. Not gonna lie, looks like a JoJo character. I think I think that's intentional. I just don't know enough about JoJo to say for sure. I think the message had had JoJo. Thank you, Q2. Is that the Yaya hiding in the hair? Uh, yeah, no, 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 on the, on the, up, on the top left, no, no, 
Wait, is Q2 part of the Ayaya Alliance? Have I been putting Ayaya propaganda on on the uh, on the stream the whole time? When it was like, no, I know. I'm just saying, is is Q2 supporting a Yaya or not? I knew they were in there. I'm just wondering, what's the intent? Intent matters. No death of the fan artists here. Thank you for that, Q2. Thank you. A Yaya. <laughs> <laughs> Omedeto Ome, Ome is the congratulations from Evangelion. I forgot you played the shitty English version when you scammed me. Wow, what a weave. <laughs> 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 oh, sorry, my, my chair is so squeaky. Weeb of Troy. Thank you, Aluminium, for the 513 sub. With Ayaya, Ayaya, Ayaya. You have three different Ayayas? How many different Ayayas are there? If you if you counted all the Ayayas on Twitch, would it be more than the amount of monocoin handins the weebs are going to have to do for us to enable our own? How many are there? Huh. Thank you, Samuel Iguar, for the 413 sub. Ah, Joe, this year is going to be so good. Hope you are prepared and well. Yeah, I, I, I'm feeling like there's going to be good things for this year, too. Yeah. I think it's going to be a fun time, fun time. Got a lot, a lot of stuff planned. Oh, we're still wearing the, the, the Foglet jacket. We don't want to wear that. Um, We don't want to wear that either. Yeah, there's a bunch of games I'm really looking forward to playing on stream. Yep. Uh, Outer Wilds, especially. Thank you, Lizard from Hell, for the 4 and 3 sub. Finally caught up with the VOD, so now I can support the Ayaya Revolution. Do you get coins for watching VODs? Oh, no. If you get coins for watching VODs, like, the VOD boys might rise up. No, you don't? Aw, oh, man. The Weebs could have had a great alliance with the VOD boys and girls. Oh, no. Aw, oh, damn. How sad for you, Weebs. <laughs> I demand we be renamed to the Ayaya Axis. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, we're not doing that. No. No. Hey, if that's what you guys want to call yourself, I can't control you. But I'm like, no, I, I, I am like, no way am I, am I opening that can of worms? No way. Um, thank you, uh, Jehugasm, for the 213 sub with the message, Ayaya, this is the day we're having, huh? This is the day we're having. All right. Thank you, Jehugasm. Thank you, thank you. And the last one on my list right now is T the Black or just the Black 107 for 613 sub. January has been a long ass month, huh? You have no fucking idea. <laughs> you have no fucking idea. Oh, shit. All right. Uh, Trip Canal. This trap's not too hard to spot once you know what, you're, what to look for. Keeping it hidden has not been the, a priority of the cryptozoologist. Uh, look around. The reeds bend for, forlornly toward the sand. Snow covers the broken stalks like a shroud, and they shimmer ghostly in the darkness. In the, in the east, the city center hums to you. The constant distant song louder on this part of the coast, nearer somehow, and there's that cold again. Always the cold. Reach for the trap. Nothing but locusts in this trap as well. Definitely no cryptozoological monstrosity. Empty as all of them, he pa he pants. One more of these and we're done. He pants. His face is red from the cold sea air. He crouches to catch his breath. Bummer it wasn't here. You getting tired? Then No, no, I'm fine. I didn't mean to complain. It's just he short-winded. The sentence ends there. Aw, Kim. Kim, go have a rest. Go have a rest. Why am I being Joe dot dot dotted? What? Why am I being Joe dot dot dotted? Oh, we have so many skill points. Holy crap.
How about we revisit the task list again? Yeah, but I, we can, but right now we have the church thing to do, right? This looks different to me. Why does this look different? Is it the snow texture looking weird? Was this always open like this? Do you remember when chat asked you to play Disco Elysium and you thought you wouldn't like it so you said you would only do one stream? Oh, how time flies. Yeah, that was that was a whole year ago. It's been 75 years. Children have been conceived, born, grown up, and gone to college since we started playing this game. Where's the other trap? I forget where it was. Was it way up north? Probably. Stupid fake door. Oh, this is this is a shirt. Nice. All right. Oh, wait, we found that guy's coat. We didn't get back to him, did we? There's the other one. All right. Hold down to move. Oh, they added this. Nice. Cool. Takes you a moment, but finally you spot the last of Moral's traps. This one's partially obscured by the reeds. Look around. The reeds. Shake sadly in the coastal breeze. Snow specks the stalks. Most of it melts quickly, relinquishing from relinquishing form to darkness. Yeah, that makes sense. Love your resume. Thanks. Uh, ta harked, the hark. Not sure. I hope you like the new one. It's gonna gonna take a while to get through it. The wind picks up here near the cape's end, surrounding a narrow strip of land from three cardinal directions. It's cold for this time of year. Reach for the trap. The trap feels light and silent as you pick it up. Something is different here. Look closer. No locusts. No phasmin either, but still. Immediately yell, it's empty. Look closer still. Lieutenant studies the trap with you. Well, the bait worked on something. This doesn't mean it was a reed monster, though, unless you see one in there. I just see an empty trap. The netting is a little untidy, messier than the others, like someone or something picked up the trap and shook it before dropping it back down on the ground. I do get the feeling that someone or something may have messed with the trap, but what if it was the phasmid? What if it ate them and got out? Yeah, it probably wasn't the phasmid, but still, Moral needs to know. You're right, I still need to, but I still need to tell the cryptozoologist about this. You're right, this crypto research has been stupid. Um, Number one. He purses his lips. Perhaps our cryptozoologists have competition in the form of an actual entomologist, or someone else is sabotaging them. I could present more theories, but I but then I would be taking this on as a case, which I'm not. You're right, but I still need to tell... Yeah, number two. We did sort of promise to tell them, didn't we? He seems to regret the fact. Leave. Man, I thought we were going to find one. Huh, so... Oh, you can't run, though! Oh, you can if you if, if your initial click if you initially double click it'll maintain the, the speed. All right, I guess that makes sense. Urgent, urgent! They added an animation when you pat the mailbox. Wow. Okay, we're never seeing that. Let's go give the guy the, his coat back. How many hours into the game? Um, I have played this for... Uh, 36 hours according to Steam. 36 hours. I think one time I accidentally left it running though after stream one day, so that might not be 100% accurate to how much we've played. Today is AI fun day, right? No, that's tomorrow. I found your jacket. Uh, tequila, I knew you'd come through. That's fucking great, man. I found a little more than I bargained for. What's that supposed to mean? There was a dead body nearby. What's that got to do with my jacket? It's a pretty freaky coincidence. 
What do I care about some local stiff? You gonna give me my jacket or no? Fine, take the stupid thing, give him the jacket. Let me let me see, what? This isn't my jacket. My jacket was beautiful. This is fucking filthy. What am I supposed to do with this? Look, I may have just seen an omen of my impending death. I don't care about the jacket. What do you expect? You left it outside for a week. I'm sorry, I found it like this. Number two. Sorry, cop no more. I'm not taking a disgusting pile of hobo rags. I may be in, in an er, irrevocably decaying orbit, but I've still got standards. He hands it to you. Either bring it back the way it was before or find a dumpster to burn it in. Lieutenant inspects the jacket in your hands. You know, despite the guano, it looks like the jacket itself is stain resistant. It may need a good, just need a good scrubbing. Fuck, how do we do that? Let's go cook it in the kitchen in the whirling in rags. <coughs> Thank you, aluminium, for 100 bits. They are weeb. Japanophile without taste, but you, you will be worse. <laughs> yeah, yeah, until it is done. <laughs> You, uh, you, uh, hype for, um, for Doom Eternal Aluminium. Uh, thank you, Waskies, for the 100 bits. Uh, the, the monocoin feature gave the weebs a legitimate way to fight and campaign for Yaya. How do you feel about enabling us so that we may not only bother you to enable it, but also donate to a cause to make it a, a reality? Well, I mean, it's, it's false hope. It's false hope. It's a billion monocoins. This is, this is why I don't feel bad, because I've been very upfront about how this is actually fucking impossible. You guys aren't getting it. It's a billion. It's a billion. It's a billion. And after we get down, even if you guys got through the billion, maybe I'll just add another billion to it. Nah, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. Unless, unless, like, it's a billion. There's no hope. No hope at all. Oh, hey, wait. There's coffee in the back. Oh, wait. I'm in the mother's love. Give it five or six years. We're all going to be dead in five or six years. What are you doing here? This is a special place, there's a per per perforation in the world up there, a way out into nothingness, he nods toward the ceiling. That's a cool line. This church is built around it for purposes of veneration. I circle it, nurtured by the silence bestowed by the mother. One of these days, I'll be pure enough to go drink from it directly. Who's this mother Mother of silence you keep talking about? Oh, that's no simple question, essay. She is one who can't be painted or sculpted. She is a cavity in the dark beyond sense. She saved me, but I couldn't describe her to you. No one can, Holmes, and no one ever will. What will happen once you drink from this perforation? I'm gonna sneeze, unless it goes away. Oh, stop teasing me, sneeze. No, it's going away. Fuck! I will be incinerated, but not destroyed. Finally at one with the state of the world before reality began. That sounds a bit like sub... Substition? Substitution? Behavior, no. Substitution? Substitution? Not substitution. Behavior, no. You know a thing or few about. I know a thing or few about that. You sure you just didn't switch one drug for another? I don't know that word, sorry. Oh, it's just substitution. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just reading it wrong. Sorry, 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 sorry. It's not like that at all, all man. It's just faith and joyful service. Too gleeful, those words. He's, he's lying, not to you, to his very own self. Faith is a kind of drug. I guess you have a point. Proceed. Let's agree to disagree. Faith is a kind of drug. He shakes his head. I've heard that before. Way. And I know... Way? Am I saying that right? And I know I can't convince you on the spot, but think. When's the last time you woke up from silent communion with a hangover regretting what you did last night? So, someone left a comment on their Persona streams. Uh, I get I get emails whenever someone uh, leaves a comment on the second channel, but not the first channel for some reason. I don't know why. Um, so someone left a comment on uh, the, the Persona streams. Um, on the one where uh, I mispronounce uh, eccentric, and I and I pronounced it eccentric, and then just kept like double down on it to, to, to fucking just like to to, uh, to trigger the shit out of chat. But the leg legitimately, I didn't say it right the first time. Um, and someone left a comment saying disliked because you couldn't pronounce e eccentric. <laughs> like, 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 really proud of it. Like, like, fuck 
fuck you, dude. Like, you couldn't say that word, so I'm just like king. And it's like, like yeah, you, you, you sure showed me. <laughs> there are drugs darker than alcohol circling your system. I think love might have been my my drug of choice, and I still and I think I'm still hung over from it. He looks at you gravely. She, she she took you for a good spin, huh? Don't worry, bro. That love is but a drop compared to the ocean of of, of the mother's love. Get downvoted, scrub. Exactly, exactly. The mother will eat all of you and never never spit you out. By the way, did you guys know that um that uh during nine eleven that uh, Steve Buscemi, he used to be a firefighter, by the way, uh, that he went back and joined the force temporary to help people during the during you know to clear nine eleven. Did you guys know about that? Yeah. I guess you have a point. Let's agree to disagree. And it'll take time. Don't sweat it. Still don't understand what you're doing in the church. I'm a Seraph Holmes. Seraph? I sing the mother's glory. I feel, I feel like some of you... <laughs> oh, no. Okay, I won't say anything else. I'm done. Uh, I'm a Seraph Holmes. I sing to the Mother's Glory. You should sing for me. The superstar cop point th your thumbs at yourself. It doesn't really make sense uh, for you to sing if she's the mother of silence. Not singing is good. I'm a bit of a singer myself. He laughs. I don't mean literal singing, Holmes. This is the mother of silence we're talking about. It's the singing of a burning heart. You may be thinking, but fire crackles. No, Holmes. That's the material that's burning. The flames themselves are without sound. How did you? Ooh, how did you find the, How did you even find this place? This church. Hard to say. I think I did some construction work here back when I still had material worries up there. I realized what the true purpose of the church was. Been spending a lot of time here ever since. The past is nothing new to me now. Way, eh? it didn't belong to me. Right. I had other questions. The sinewy figure lingers on the wooden beams, blending into the shadows. You've been here a long time. Do you know why the church was abandoned? Police raid a while back. He responds. His voice suddenly flat. Did you witness it? Not really, or at least I don't remember much of it anymore. The mother's love has been has done its job. That's what's so great about the mother. It lets you forget about everything. It looks like he truly doesn't remember. There's a vagueness to his sense of time. Some ravers want to turn this place into a nightclub. The ones in the tent outside, right? I seen them. I'm guessing they're the ones who call me a crab. Probably scared of me. Wait, do they have a reason to be scared? So what do you think about the nightclub that is? I trust you won't be, get in the way of some enterprising youth. Their business looks promising. Turning a church into a nightclub, I have to say it's a great idea. You should support it. So what do you think about the nightclub? Why not? They wouldn't bother me none. I'm usually way up there imbibing. Ain't no music on earth that can reach where I go. Might even be nice to have some company. He said that in spite of himself. He's more attached to the human than he'd like to think. Hmm. I'm surprised he went for that. Do you know where the, the other spooker is? Other spooker. Oh, essay Vegeta me my diosa. He laughs. Fucking nailed it. Dunno, Holmes. Snow halation. Vegeta is grandma. Wait, so there is another person living in the church and it's Vegeta? <laughs> no, I just call her Vegeta because. Of her clothes. She's actually quite young. He scratches his head. Or maybe not that young. Age is just one of the many masks we wear. <sighs> That's creepy. Uh, and don't you know where she is? That's what I said, Holmes. How can you not know when, when both... when? How can you not know that when both you live here? When you both live here. Don't really follow her comings and goings. Just see her typing on her computer now. And then we've got different interests. So you've got nothing else to tell me. How she looks, what she does, who she is. Who, who is she? So is this like the spiritual and the other one's the scientist? I'm not afraid, Essay. You just have to wait until she comes back or he shrugs. Or search through her radio computer. Okay. I have no idea what this game is. And this is my first time to tuning into stream. So I am, I am so confused. Um, this is sort of like a... Frost has drawn flowers on the grass. It's, going to do. it's kind of like a visual novel with a more traditional um, CRPG uh, interface and way of playing. Uh, I do think this qualifies as, as a game more than some some other like things that are mostly visual novels. Um, but yeah, it's uh, very, very story heavy. There's no combat. The gameplay is more about character progression and character choices. Figure drawn on the frost in the window depicting a deer. Um, I wouldn't suggest watching this as your first stream of this game or the first stream of me either. Crack, paint, and glass. Colorful. Um... 
Uh, and the game's pretty good, so you, you, you probably don't want to be spoiled. The spider spun its web around this wood carved pillar. Would you say this game is worth the price for someone who loves interactive stories? Absolutely. As long as you enjoy this kind of goofball tone that it has. It has some serious moments, but it's it's like it's satire. So yeah. If you don't enjoy that, then you like yeah, you're not gonna enjoy this. But I think this game is mostly fantastic. Damn, look at that with the lungs. In white, silver, and apricot fans, the young mother of humanism stands above you. A crack runs across her body. She is impossibly tall, oval-faced, and sad, a dark and radiant majesty. This is her innocence, Dolores Day. Cradled in her arms are a pair of glowing lungs, clearly visible from underneath her flowing dress. You should kneel. Kneel, no. Your knees touch the floor, the floorboards are hard and cold, there you kneel among the snowdrifts, diff diffuse light falling on your hands from beyond the glass. Close your eyes first. The world is silent, but for the, cra but for the creaks and cracks of the massive wooden structure behind you, it covers you from the wind outside. The ocean feels distant, its ebb and flow blocked off from by the centuries old pine woods sarcophagus around you. Open your eyes. Time to pose as Jesus. Yeah, no kidding. The woman looks down at you, kneeling. She lowers, sorry, she towers among her followers, architects, laymen, courtiers. There is a sad smile on her lips and a glint in her green blue eye. Eye? Of what? Compassion? Remorse? She acknowledges the passing of someone who is still alive. You. It's compassion, it's remorse, it's mourning, it's not possible to live, it's compassion. As that soft word passes through your mind, the lieutenant draws an X-shaped cross from shoulder to shoulder. Do the same as you get up. Your fingertips touch your chest four times and you rise from your knees into the apricot-colored light of the window. Above you, the woman still smiles, her distant smile, sundered by the crack in the glass. This is Dolores Day. How did I know this is the mother of humanism? Reconstruct the cracked glass with visual calculus. Oh, these are cool. Let's do Dolores Day first. The old woman in the village was right. He looks round. This must be the DeLorean Church of hu Humanity in Martinez, or some, or the small Pinewood Church in some records. You knew of the place? It's a minor landmark, not easy to find. Most maps misplace it. He lowers his voice. It was built not long after uh, Revachal's founding, 300 or so years ago by first-generation settlers on the coast of the uninhabited archipelago where only animals had roamed before in the wild reeds. What else do you know? There used to be seven stave churches on the coast. Les Sep Sors, they call them. The seven sisters, only one remains. The rest were burnt in the revolution or used for building materials. We should be respectful here, although the building appears to be deserted. I do not believe we'll find anything connected to the lynching here. Something else, perhaps. He looks at the machinery lying around. Respectful? And is Lieutenant a follower of DeLoreanism? A pang of guilt. The lieutenant is leaving something out. Do you know why it was abandoned? I have a theory, yes. There's a pause and he continues. There was a police trade a while back. I heard the place was shot to pieces. The old woman in the village was being tactful with us when she didn't mention it. She has more respect for the RCM than many around here. Who conducted this raid? Well, your station was involved, I hear, although I can't be sure. How come the lieutenant isn't sure? Is this confidential information? You're not sure? Three pre precincts were involved in the raid and people say Precinct 41 was one of them. I don't remember being here. I look around. I guess I could have been here. I don't remember being here. I'm pretty sure it was a clandestine operation. I don't know anything more about it, why it was conducted, or who participated. I try not to pry into extra district matters. If I was here, I should find out what I was doing. Proceed. Good luck. You will not get it. You will not get information on a confidential operation from your station secretary just by calling. If you really don't remember, it might be better to keep this one forgotten. It happened a while ago. It's unimportant to our business in Marnay's now. Kim, are you a follower of DeLoreanism? Yes, we all are. Her name, body, and rule are synonymous with humanism. The laws we enforce are DeLorean in origin. Hmm, stroke your chin for... <laughs> <laughs> the woman looks by in silence, smiling enigmatically. I don't think I didn't think you were spiritual. I'm not spiritual. It's constitutional. The DeLorean system does not demand faith, only accordance. Encyclopedia. 
Despite the damage you've done to yourself, the title appears lodged into the title appears lodged in your hippocampus. This is her innocence, Dolores Day, the innocence of humanism, internationalism, and the welfare state. Perhaps the most famous human being to ever to have lived. Jesus 2.0. No amount of Commodore Red can wipe her sad smile from your brain thing. It has survived the deluge and haunts you still, and will haunt you forever as it haunts all men. I mean, like, is she as important as Chiaki though? Like, I'm not sure about that. Wait, what exactly is an innocence? I've heard of the system. Wait, okay. When did she rule? What else do I know about her? I want more. Okay, let's go one by one. The highest category of historic, of historic individual, an embodiment of the world spirit, a ruler? More, an innocence is elected to office by the founding party, a precedent that has taken place a mere six times in the entirety of history. The legal system of the real belt is built to accommodate innocentic rule, should it coincide with our time. An innocent, an innocence is infallible. The decisions made by one are not decisions. They are inevitabilities. So she's like the Pope. What would have happened anyway, only accelerated, packed into decades instead of centuries. An innocence is a continuous co compressed event, a sacred human being. It is an honor and a glory to live when one is in office. Is one in office now? No, we are alone. Okay, when did she rule? 300 years ago, in the wake of the discovery of this Isola, the Insulidi Insulidian in Suladian, by explorers from the continent of Mundi. She is, among all, among other things, the innocence of inter, inter isolary travel and the connected world. What else do I know about her? Many things. You know she was a woman of the court, the wife of an influential Marchese, and eventually the principal advisor to Irene La Navigatura, Queen of Sir Surinese, modern day Sir Le Clef. Of course, I was I already knew that. You didn't have to put that in parentheses. I already knew that. Also, that she was gorgeous beyond mm. beauty. Okay, what else? Was she was she smart? Terribly, women of the court were expected to play both contract bridge and chess sufficiently well to prove an interesting challenge to a man. A similar grasp in matters of philosophy theology and science was encouraged she was by all means a kept woman she made the most of her position in the antedelorian Ante court a court visited by the most prominent thinkers and artists of the day in secret she was becoming the era's preeminent philosopher of the state a scalpel a piercing gaze and then she got killed she was an almost pre preternaturally magnetic and intelligent individual. To her contemporaries, she appeared at a time, a messenger from the future of the species. We all fell in love with her, head over heels. Even before she was declared an innocence, her influence was tremendous. How come? It was on her advice that Irene La Navigatura sponsored a number of voyages into the Pale, a costly, often tragic endeavor, ultimately vindicated by the discovery of the new, new world, the piece of reality you're standing on. She was crowned two years after the first expedition returned, setting in motion what is widely considered the greatest era in history, the DeLorean era, when anime was banned. Wow. Wow, indeed. When her innocence was declared and the queen she had advised for years fell on her knees before her, she was so overcome with emotion that her lungs started glowing in her chest. Bystanders reported go golden filaments lighting the already sunlit chamber around her, clearly visible beneath her dress. That is why the lungs are the symbol of love for the, the cultures of the Real Belt. I want more. As did we all, the lands of Mesca and the Occident were, and even far away, Supramundi, altogether 21 of the 40 Mondial nation, nations of the time. Immediately accepted innocentic rule, even before her crowning. Her crowning? In a city called Advesperacit, in Vesper Messenia. Messina, her homeland, the name of the city means evening comes, but it happened on a winter's morning with the canals frozen and slush falling out of the sky. She was dressed in white and pearl in a white and pearl dress on an emptied out plaza with the crowd far away. Already her theriers, the secret servicemen of the innocents, were worried about an assassin an assassination attempt. Did she like pineapple on pizza though? She must have been beautiful. Oh yeah, she looked like humanity's young mother, a perfect mother, insultingly beautiful. It was <laughs> I really like that. I really like that. Insultingly beautiful. I wrote that there was there was a character I I had once that um that another character described that she was so beautiful that that it made him angry. <laughs> <laughs> it was as if her face and shoulders and hands were covered in a soft down of under feathers. You know this well, very well. Midwinter snow was beating the cobblestones around her. A small attach, attachy of officials stood by her. Uh, Theriers placed a white gold. Sorry, a small attachy of officials stood by as her. Theriers placed a white gold wreath on her head. The crowning was mostly witnessed by secret servicemen. Then what? 
One of the men in the Secret Service killed her 22 years later. A young man who had come to suspect that Dolores Day was not entirely human, but something else. What? Something that had walked in our midst, watching us stumble for hundreds, if not thousands of years, until it decided to interfere, interfere in the course of our history. We were supposed to come up with this ourselves, the man was reported to have screamed at the innocents. Dolores Day was shot in the chest with a fouling piece eight times. The man, thought to be insane, said he once touched her and her body had been unnaturally warm, like a furnace, and that sometimes while on duty he observed her forgetting to breathe for over ten minutes. This inhuman quality was witnessed by many others as well, glowing lungs and all. It is commonly attributed to mass hysteria and religious psychology. Was there something terrifying about her? Terrifying is too is, is a term too emotionally charged for your semantic memory, but what remains of it, or what remains of it, but Although she is often considered to be the greatest human being to ever live, there was something ominous about Dolores Day, constantly surrounded by her, by her therriers. She was the most socially secluded and least self-aware of all the innocences. Some modern thinkers would consider her a war criminal for the campaign she waged against the Mesca state. And then there were the re then there were the resettlement programs. What happened? The Mesca state tried to detach itself from an innocentic rule. Parts of the world were experiencing whiplash from accelerating into secularism. Her mandatory education programs and mass resettlement of upstream Magritte were problematic as well. The centers were suppressed by a military force she called the Army of humanity, suggesting those who fight against it are not are not part of humanity. Hmm. She adored chess, yes, but also military war games. Dolores Day often holds a tiny tin soldier between her index finger and thumb in icons such as this. Not this time, though. She was also blonde, the blondest woman you ever you, you have ever seen, with green eyes the color of the Pisantic Mare Interregnum. Little is known of her marches of our Marchese husband. It's as if he vanished from history after completing his role, which was to introduce Dolores Day to, to court. In conclusion, yes, there is something lonely, paranoid, and even terrifying that people seldom mention, but feel when they think of her. Damn, Joe's type. Yeah, no kidding. This so subtle terror is part of her iconography. <laughs> lieutenant Yefrider, if you've, stu you've stood there for over five minutes, the lieutenant's calm voices echo in the cold air of the church. Or Echo, sorry. What are you thinking of, if I may ask? She's somehow connected to the case. Glowing lungs, that's fucked up. Nothing, just looking around. She's beautiful. She's not human. Yell, war criminal. <laughs> glowing lungs, that's fucked up. Yes, glowing lungs are quite unusual. After that one time, they may not... They have not been reported to glow. He takes his glasses off to clean them. You know, this church, the coast, we shouldn't linger. Finish what you came here to do and let's move on. This isn't a good place to get lost in. Oh, look at that. That's gorgeous. Holy shit. A jigsaw of broken shards falls into, into place in front of you. A ghostly reconstruction of the stained glass window. Before it was shattered, there was an older woman beneath the younger one and a text, a limotif below them both. Who? Sh what shattered this mosaic? It was us. Unknown. Something during the raid lieutenant mentioned or just hooligans looking for something to break. Who is this older woman? The Escachion? 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 I do not know that word. Escachion. Escutcheon. Escutcheon, not Eon. Escutcheon. Escutcheon. See, I'm saying it like it's a Pokemon. Like, Eevee evolves into an Escutcheon, but no, it's Escutcheon. 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 All right. The escutcheon on her throne says Irene the Navigator. She is depicted as an older woman wearing thick-rimmed eyeglasses holding a golden reichsap full in one hand and a scepter in the other. This is the queen her innocence day advised. Above, she herself is whole. Small figures of wise men, common men, worshippers walk up the stairs to stand at her feet. Secret service men, theriers, stand in a row guarding her. It must have taken years to produce this work in all of its dizzying detail. The motto, what does it say? What's the motto of you? Below both women in luminous black letter, Apres la, la vie mort, Apres la mort, la vie de nouveau. And then along the left side, Apres le monde, le monde, le gris, Apres le gris, le monde de, de nouveau. After life, death, after death, life again, after the world, the pale, after the pale, the world again. This is the great, the great leitmotif of humanism. A summary of the effect of the discovery of this Isola, the Insulidian, on human thinking. A tremendous sea change akin to finding life after death. 
Lieutenant, this used to say it, after life, death, after, yeah, he knows. Death, life again, he nods. After the world, the pale, after the pale, the world again. This exaltation is common in DeLorean sacralism. In the early years, it was even incorporated as the RCM slogan, no more, however. Why? <clears throat> it was deemed subservient to use a strongly moral intern related motto. We're already suspected of bootlicking. The sentence was also seen as too feminine. It was a macho, it was a macho thing. What is the RCM motto now? Justice, union, pr prudence, and force. Jup. Whoa, cool. Not very feminine. I like the, this, the other one better. I like this. Puts the fear of God back in the foglets. Whoa, uh, I like the other one better. So do I. Step back. All right. Turn away. The mother of Hunas and Tars above it. Yeah, okay. Well, that was a fun... Um, fun uh, sequence uh, thank you Baku Retsu Connoisseur for the two month resub that sounds suspiciously like anime to me first monthly reminder that everyone should watch Monogatari and Konosaba yep yeah, there we go uh, yeah yeah there we go all right all right, I hope you're proud of yourself, connoisseur. Uh, thank you, Squirtle the Turtle 13 for the 17 month resub. Happy 17 months, Joe. I got the job and just want to say thanks to you and Chat and Lily for encouraging me. I've almost caught up, so I'm just stopping in to say hi and thanks. Well, I hope you hear this when you watch the VOD Squirtle the Turtle and absolutely congratulations on getting the job. Big, big, big congrats and I hope it, it works out well. kick the hornets uh, hornets nests in chat oh man congratulations again squirrel the turtle uh thank you s snabs for the eight month reset i had to sub squeaky chair i had to sub while the stream was down a few days ago but now i'm going i'm just going to watch the stream at work as background noise happy to have another month with joe with a heart thank you thank you s snaps uh did i read it out when you subbed while the stream was down um uh, maybe you got to push it again right now uh, hopefully thank you s snaps Thank you, Ranikel, for the 14 month resub. Oh boy, I can't wait tomorrow to do nothing at all with monocoins. <laughs> Lily's weaves in chat recommending this anime to me. I don't I don't watch anime. I, I I don't I don't I don't watch more than an anime. What the hell? Were you, I watched. No, I didn't. I've only I've only watched the Danganronpa anime, and technically I watched like a little bit of of um of Pokemon. That's it. Come on, I didn't watch the whole thing. Persona Cat. No, it doesn't. No, no, it doesn't. Ah, uh, thank you again, Ranikel, and thank you for putting the weebs in their place. Thank you, Zade Junior. Maybe that's what we should rename it. Should we should we rename um use twenty k monocoins on literally nothing to put the weebs in their place? Is Disco Elysium a weeb game? <laughs> uh, thank you, thank you, uh, Zay Jr. for the 24 month resub. Welcome to the two year club. Two years, Dan. Thank you very much, Zay Jr. Hope you like the two year chat icon uh, made by Soft Lump. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, thank you, Zyriel, as well. Last time I was for now. Uh, five months, hear me, weeb. I hereby proclaim myself founder and leader of the Ayaya Axis, to which I summon all righteous weebs of chat. We will not rest nor yield until justice be done and Ayaya be released. Join our cause or watch in, in horror. Glory to Ayaya. Wow. I uh, hope you guys all took off your fedoras while you were listening to that, while you were pledging allegiance. Oh, ay yeah, yeah, the normies away, ay yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had my katana ready. Hey, her innocence, Dolores Day, liked little figurines, right? Like holding little men between her her fingers. Remember, damn the symbolism. What? You have the revolutionary soldier figurine. You should give it to her. Win her back. What? Look around. Win who back? I can't win her back. She's a long dead historical figure. I should. Yes. This is a task of mine now. So very, very, very nifty. Nifty and mysterious. I like the word nifty. This is surely what the figurines are for. Exactly. Looks like I can't give this figurine to her. Why? Because she's a stained glass window. That does seem to be a problem. Maybe you're meant to do something. Meant, maybe you meant something else. Like what? Is the task still on? I don't know. What are we thinking of? Part of your mind has gone to, to other things already. The mother of humanism. Hmm. Okay. 
A Yaya axis needs a symbol, like four lines arranged from a center point bent at right angle. See, this is the kind of shit I was talking about. I do, I do not condone this. No condoning, all right? No, no. This is the exact type of shit that I knew you weebs would just immediately devolve into. Like, no, no. On your, on your own fedora crowned heads be it, if you want to do that. A machine stands in the corner, watched over by the figures on the stink. What's this oxygen not included music? It's turned on and quivering with soft electricity. Oh, now it sounds like Mass Effect. Another radio computer, says the lieutenant, stepping closer, and this time it's already turned on. He seems cautious around the machine. These machines sometimes harbor traps, he thinks. Alarm systems and the like, let's be careful. We should leave. I doubt this place bears any connection to the case. Yes, but this machine looks just like the one in the Doom commercial area. Where is the woman? Because w weren't they locked in? There must be another way out, I guess. Wait, let me just investigate it. Step behind the computer. You see a varescent play and print buttons on the keyboard. I, ha I think I just added an A. A hatch connected to the central compartment is wide open. I, leader of the AI Axis, do not approve of anything you wouldn't allow in good conscience, except for the name, of course, that stays glory to Ayaya. The lieutenant says nothing. You see the machine's glowing frame reflected back from his diamond-shaped glasses. Uh, really? Uh, you're free to proceed. Look inside the compartment. Behind the hatch sits a cube-like crisscross of filament smoldering in the dark like fireflies. Silver tape on the side says in a black marker, log February, March. Another filament memory. Press play to talk to the, with the repeater. Press play. The speaker comes to life. Static seeps through the machines. Planar or planner, I think planner, magnetic driver. The old, an old lady greets you. Her voice sounds like, sounds a hundred years old. Good evening, fortress accident on St. Brune. This is the East Insulididian Repeater Station One. Please repeat, is this a per, is, is this the personal log? I'm not doing it for the whole thing. It's the same old woman you spoke with through the radio computer in the Dune commercial area. Yvonne, it's me again, how are you? Good, thank you. It's not clear whether she recognizes your voice. Please repeat, is this the personal log? I looked inside the core, but the tape on the filament just said log February, March. Good, please repeat the password. Let's look around. There's no use trying to guess the answer. Maybe he knows something, Lieutenant nods towards Diego. A password? I'm really bad at passwords. Can you give me a hint? No. A hint system is not part of the protocol for repeater stations. Is it my birthday? Still no. This is, I don't know the password. Received, I will register this login attempt. Fortress accident, is there anything else I can do for you today? Fortress accident, like the one in the Doom commercial area. I have two machines registered to this company name in Martinez. One on St. Brune, the other on Rue de St. Ghislaine. St. Brune, that's the church. The lieutenant gestures, gestures around him. And Rue de St. Ghislaine, that's the Doom commercial area. I love that he's just calling it that now too. We've just, we're just beating him down into our own insanity. Anything else I can help you with? Thanks, but I'm finished with this call. Press off silent. Sleep well, fortress accident, she says as her voice disappears into a world of static. Press print, nothing happens. Look inside the compartment. Can we replace it with what we have? Don't we have a... Um, yeah, this. Oh, hey, wait. There's coffee in the back. Oh, wait. I'm in the mother's love. Have you by any chance heard the, the Vegeta say the password to her radio computer? Too many times I say you need it for something? Surveys are a good way to fish for personal information, especially in the name of public safety. I'm doing a survey of passwords and passcodes, identifying regional trends in the interest of public safety, of course. Just tell me the password, step closer. Yes, it's for a first degree murder investigation in Martinez. Honestly, I just want to break into a radio computer, see what's on it. Um, I mean, technically three, it might be connected. We have no idea. Like this is a lot of work for something that's not connected to the main story. Although it's this game, so there might not even be a main story. Like, would you just be honest? Like we're, we're honest, sorry cop, right? Don't sweat it, Veto. The password is after life death. What do you think of that? Makes me almost pity the, the La Nihilista Pequena when I hear it. Yeah, me too. I think we're done here. I say the figure crawls off into the darkness above. 
that was an interesting conversation. However, I'm still not sure still not sure how it's relevant to our investigation. Sorry that you can hear the baby crying. That's all the way from downstairs. Thank you, Uber2013, for some bits. Back in 2016, I read an article on the Frankfurter Allgemeine Sonntag Zeitung, which is one of the most conservative newspapers we have here in Germany, in which the author praised Kono Shibareshi as one of the... As one of the most enjoyable Japanese art pieces of the recent times and called it the Japanese interpretation of Mr. Bean. So you should watch it and become a weeb. Let quality journalism make you a fucking weeb. After life, death. Good, I've unlocked the filament. After ending the call, please press print to access the filament. Fortress accident, is there anything else I can do for you today? That's it. The printer prints out a long text document with dated paragraphs. It looks a bit like someone's journal. Read the printout. The first entry made by the, made on the 4th February of 51 by an unknown author is short and concise. Oh, thank God. Arrived at the church. The door was boarded up, so I used a crowbar to get inside. Looks like the place has been deserted. Nothing out of the ordinary, but I'll ask around. Need to figure out how to get the electricity in. The lieutenant leans closer, scouring the printout over your shoulder. Just as you finish reading, he looks up, muttering under his breath. Fourth of February? That's over a month ago. Whoever set up those machines has been here for quite a while. Do you think this law might be connected to the case? Our case? No, I don't think so. It must be some local. His eyes wander to the various machines around him. Encentric. Read the second entry. 6th of February, 51. Had a little chat with the local fisherman. Said I shouldn't go near that place. That the church was spoopy and ridden with narcotics. It's a little spoopy, all right. Still haven't figured out the electricity. Read the third entry. 7th of February, 51. Finally got the electricity in. Next on the agenda, a new antenna. I'm thinking Esker series? Something advanced. Why would she need an antenna? Why would anyone need need any of this equipment here? He steps on a wire running on the ground, inspecting it with his boot. Read the fourth entry. 8th of February, 51. Bought the antenna, had some problems setting it up. Called Simo for help. Heard the others are back to making art, drinking somewhere out of town. Sulisla started a rock band again. Lexi has been, has been seen asking money from strangers. Oh, man our kind of person but at least the artists have their act together the qualified labor they can get work anywhere graphic designs ads the programmers are doing fine too i mean the programmers the writers though they're fucked i just have to find out what caused that data loss and be done with it still don't understand how it managed to wipe out the backup when the backup wasn't even connected to the front i know i know everyone thinks it's impossible they say i must be lying i'm here to set it right a data loss Artists, programmers, Lexi, who are these people? A data loss? Seems like something to do with radio computers. Unfortunately, I don't know enough about them to understand what the author is saying. Something about the backup data getting destroyed and how everyone thought it was the author's fault. He adjusts his glasses. Let's just keep reading. I think these people worked in the radio computer games business, the one we saw in the Dune commercial area. <laughs> they must be her former co-workers. Read the fifth entry. 12th of February, 51, brought some food from the grocery store. Apparently there's a strike going on in the harbor. Definitely not happy to see the Martinez people again. Everything's now set up in the church. Going to start working tomorrow, 8 a.m. The strike, he strokes his chin. We're nearing the date of the murder. Keep reading, I'm interested now. I want to know what's, what's, no, what is that radio anomaly? What's that radio anomaly that sent this person here in the first place? Damn, Kim, you're into it now. Read the sixth century. Kim, I think that you are the innocence of our time. You gotta be. 25th of February, 51. I've been sending data up to Lintel for a while now, trying to recreate the data loss, but nothing. Didn't even feel like logging in, in the disappointment. But I did discover a curious audio-spatial anomaly at the back of the church. I've named it The Swallow. It's Swallow Sound. I need to get some mics. Is she talking about Lieutenant looks to his right toward the silence, read the seventh entry. What about contact Mike? 20th February 51. Yes, the first recordings confirm that the swallow is real and I'm not just losing my mind. It's a pillar of silence with a diameter of approximately three meters. Seems like the higher I go, the less I record. This might be a coincidence or it could be the connected to the data loss that led me here. The pillar of silence. She is talking about the silence. Is she suggesting it's more than just an architectural, architectural, can't say that, architectural, Quirk, I can't say that word, sorry. But what could it be? Look at the water basins behind you. 
bastard accent strikes again. The lieutenant doesn't answer. He follows your gaze, studying the basins. The water shines in them. No ripples. Read the eighth entry. March 51, some kind of young disco men have appeared next to the church. I've been trying to record the silence to find the epicenter, but now it turns out I've also been capturing the future of dance music, one neo-disco song over and over again. Fortunately, the song is so monotonous, I was able to devise an algorithm to factor it out. The other day, one of the disco men came in. Before I could even say hello, she got scared and left. Good, I don't want anyone distracting me from my work. She must be describing a, a seal. The girl on the ice sounds like her yes. Read the ninth entry. March 51, I got a call from the repeater station. Someone has tried to access the radio computer in our old office in Martinez. Can't do anything about it. The storekeeper still doesn't want to let me in inside the building. Thinks I'm part of some some kind of curse how martin is of her <laughs> that's me i was the one who broke into the radio that radio computer and the storekeeper must be placence what what if we hadn't done that interesting all right i knew it wasn't a good idea to meddle with that machine read the 10th entry March 51st, a new 2 meter aux cable, noodles, crackers, ping ping energy drinks, water toothpaste, gum, and some canned air. Your reading is interrupted by the sound of the church door opening. A strange woman makes straight for the radio computer. Oh, here we go. Did they move? Wait, you're not even saying hello? Breaking into my radio computer, I see. She glares at you as she holds down the off button for several seconds. The machine reboots. I do apologize for the intrusion, madame. We are with the RCM, you see. We hear on a side case representing certain music venue organizers. We're not just breaking in. I'm pursuing a mysterious lead, searching for my lost identity. You won't find any answers from here. She barely looks up from the keyboard. You hear the machine whir, whir, whir back to life. It is me and my computer, and it has been this way for weeks. Now, please give me some room. I need two seconds to see that you haven't destroyed anything. We should talk to her after she has rebooted the machine. She's back. Thank you, Michonne, for the 913 sub. Burn, baby, burn. Disco Elysium. <laughs> I like that. Thank you, Michonne. Kim already does, does already have a halo. That's true. Did you know there's a dedicated user that time logs baby crying times on your Persona 5? Yeah, I do know that. It's kind of weird. Yeah, I think I've spoken about that once on stream before. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that. What is it? The woman is still hunched over the keyboard, gently illuminated by the purring machine. Uh, thank you, the Swaggle, for the new sub. Welcome to the Dragon's Den, uh, or whatever other cringe you would like if you want to request one in chat. Welcome to the Dragon's Den, welcome to the Rubber Dub Sub Club. Thank you very much. I didn't break anything, did I? No, you just printed out my personal lock and wasted some paper. It does not look like a big loss to her. Hey, are you the lead programmer of Whirl Untethered by any chance? Yes. Or no, not anymore. That project is dead. She doesn't seem surprised to be recognized, rather sad. Something passes over her face before she straightens her back. Sorry, but who are you? What are you doing here? I am Sona Lukan and Kilde, the former lead programmer of Fortress Accident and RSA radios. I have over 16 years of programming experience, and I'm proficient in both Vox and Orbis languages. Damn, you must have crunched a lot. I subbed last stream and I didn't get a shout out. Please, Joe, give me attention. Thanks. Did you cheat, Nasty? I'm sorry if I missed it. Welcome to the Rub It Up Sub Club, Cheap and Nasty. I'm sure I, I remember reading your name out loud. Maybe you missed it. Or maybe it was at the end or something. Or maybe it was like on a different stream. If you're not here to hire me, I don't really know how can I help you. She turns back to the terminal. Did she say over 16 years of experience? She must have started programming when she was still a teenager. Have you seen the crab man? No, but you know he's around. Yes, he's seen you and, and the crab man has seen you. I don't care, I don't care about crab men. She barely looks up, now tinkering with the machine's printer. Why are there so many machines in this place? I brought them here, the, these are my machines. Please don't touch anything. Why do you need an antenna? Point to it. I use the AR1 as my REM per prefects processing unit. Wait, what? 
Rem Perfect Prefect, sorry, my radio computer, she explains, and that antenna is its processing unit. Yes, she sighs. You really don't know anything about radio computers, do you? She stopped she stopped she has stopped working now. Not really. I know a little. I don't really know much about anything in this world, to be honest. All right, well, all radio computers perform operations up on air. So in order to gain more processing power, you need to invest in a good an antenna. What? Wait, what's on air? On the front, the unified front of radio waves, licensed and controlled by Lintel in the East Insulin Insulindic region. It's all around us, she waves her hand. That's what on air means. Like love. Like, like the cloud? And the AR-1, is it a good antenna? She stops to think, I guess it is. So far I've been quite satisfied with it. Martinez is an unstable region with bad coverage and the operation has been surprisingly stable. But it's not the cheapest one on the market, so... I wouldn't recommend it for your regular red tape operations. Fraser 1000 is a foolproof line for civilians. Anyway, she turns back to her terminal. You should do some. You should do some research before you decide to buy anything. Ask around, compare the prices. There are many milius mil mil dedicated to that sort of thing. Milius. She likes telling you this. It calmed her nerves. What are you doing with your radio computer? I'm working. The machine seems almost alien with its pulsing core, the light casting her face in a strange shadow. Working on what? Could you, she closes her eyes, could you just shh for a moment or get to the point I really need to focus on something? It's not just rudeness, it's really hard to concentrate on whatever she needs to do and you're not helping. What about those bowls of water over there? They are connected to my REM prefect, she looks up. Whatever you do, just please don't move them, okay? Thanks. Short and terse, there you have it. Whatever she's using them for, they're hers. Right, I'll try not to touch anything. Next question. Great, she dwells back she dwells back into the glowing terminal. Dwells back? Hmm. What are you doing in an abandoned church? You really like those questions, don't you? There's a hint of amusement in her tired eyes. I'm a police officer, it's my job to ask questions. I'm conducting a scientific a scientific research here. You can't throw me out, she says, ready to stand her ground. What research? I'm looking for the location of a two millimeter hole in the world. Wait, what? She's looking for a disruption in the radio waves, that's what her personal log said. The lieutenant raises his brows but doesn't say anything. Is the hole connected to the data loss in your journal? Yes, that's what led me here. She stares at the burnished antenna on a nearby table, but I suspect it might be something a bit more complicated than that. A hole in the world, what does that mean exactly? Exactly, exactly, what does it mean? There's something frantic about her as she locks her gaze with you, eyes shining like pearls. Up to now it has been impossible to say what it is because it's impossible to measure nothing. What do what do you think it is? What qualities does nothing have? How do you measure something that does not exist? She's suddenly absorbed in the conversation, waiting for your answer. Easy, you measure it by the world around it. Hold on a moment. Does it mean we're does it mean we're now living in a world that has holes in it? You measure it by collecting data on its surroundings, on on that which exists. I can't even understand how we're talking about something that doesn't exist, let alone measure it. Let's go to number two. Exactly, she she nods. Very true. That's what I've been aiming for. That's why I have those basins. I've tried using hydro transducers to record the silence to find out where it begins. But honestly, it's not progressing very well. She grows silent, staring at her circle of basins. It looks like some ancient ritual. Do you have any idea where this hole might be located? Somewhere underneath the, those roof beams, I assume. She looks up, eyes trying to pierce the pitch black heights above, but without much success. Only a faint crisscross of rafters can be made out from the dark, most of the tower disappearing into the shade. Why there? There's this place at the back of the church, a place where all audio, audible vibrations seem to decease. I've named it the Swallow, and the higher you go, the less you record. How did you get out of here when it was padlocked? Were you locked out? Eh, whatever. A pillar of silence. Are you sure it's not just an architectural quirk? Eh, I said it. Maybe it's oddly close to the physical coordinates of the data loss that led me to this place. This is where the crab man lives. I know. You don't think the crab man might be somehow responsible here? No, I don't. She sounds mildly annoyed by this line of questioning, her hands typing hundreds of commands into the machine. You said the research isn't going well, why not? Because it's just trial and error trying to locate the swallow, the exact point in space. And I don't have a, she stops from a sentence, you know what, it would be really helpful if you could just stop talking and let me work. That's all I want to know about the scary 2 millimeter hole in the world, for now. Great, her hands are a whirl on the keyboard, thanks. Hey, about the 2 millimeter hole again. <laughs> How do you feel about an anodic dance music? What? She squints her eyes, I hate it. 
I bet she hasn't even heard it. Have you even listened to it? Like, actually listened? What are you, 40? It's the future of the dance music. Same here, it just doesn't connect. Same here, it just doesn't connect here. Tap on your heart, not like disco does anyway. Okay, wow, that was quick. Why do you hate it? Have you even listened to it? Yeah, like all the time. My tent neighbors don't really ease up with their partying, do they? She pulls a face that looks absolutely scathing. Maybe I'd have to be on drugs to get it, but to a sober mind, it just sounds like uninspired rug, rug whipping. Nice. No idea what it has to do with either dancing or music. Right, right, but how do you feel about a club for ano anodic dance music? This is about the speed freaks in the tent, isn't it? She looks up, shaking her head. They've, I've got some news for you. It's not a nightclub they want to build here. What do they want to build then? Take a guess, why don't you? I hear they're also planning on building a drug lab. A youth center would be nice. A petting zoo, a place for animals. Maybe some community space to help the elderly. I'm still convinced they want to establish a nightclub for anodic music. They said it's their dream, number one. Bingo, she snaps her fingers. That's exactly what they're up to. Wonderful, Lieutenant whispers, admiring the embellished pillars and the spectacular architecture in the church. Now this house of worship is also going to be a drug lab. Also something, always something fascinating happening in tents. Yeah, it's so intense. They're, they're just encouraging an active youth culture here. Nothing wrong with that. Mind-altering substances are a vital part of anodic club, of anodic club scene. It helps to bring the community together. Say nothing. So that's settled. Great. She supports her chin on her hand, visibly pleased. No nightclubs in the church then. Wait, what? All right, I'll let you work in peace now. Yes, what is it? All right. Well, this was a fucking waste of time. All right, let's go back and tell them that they can't do it. I don't want them stinking up stinking up the my waifu's house of worship with their bullshit. Hardcore. Hardcore. Undo, undo, undo. Uh, thank you, Zorgrox, for the 100 bits. Disco Elysium has definitely been some, some of my streams ever. Like your favorite streams ever. Always fun to hear you laugh. Sorry that's so hard on you. Glad you're enjoying it. Just sad that I have to come late every stream because of class. Partial VOD boys unite. Damn. Uh, okay, I agree you can be a partial VOD boy, but you can't be a partial weeb. You're either a weeb or you're not a weeb. That's my ruling. Uh, it's okay. It hasn't been too hard. I've gotten back into back into the swing of reading for long periods of time. Uh, the first few streams were really tough, um, but yeah, it's all right. Like I look forward to playing this um, on stream days. I really enjoy this game. I think it's great. Thank you, Girl Scout, for the nine one three sub. Missed a few streams, but how long have you been playing this? It seems like it's a really long game. Um, I mean, what, five weeks, six weeks. I don't know. I don't know how how many weeks we've been playing it. I think five, five or five to six weeks. Yeah, it's been a while. Because the streams are so short and it takes so long for us to do anything because um because we've been reading out loud. We must be close to the end now, though, right? We must be. <laughs> Thank you again, Girl Scout. And thank you, Quok69. Nice for the 213 sub. While we fight over cartoon women, the real enemies plot in the shadows. Before we know it, Chili Dog time will be upon us. Fear the Sonic fans. Okay, so here's the problem, alright? Here's the problem. All Sonic fans are weebs. But not all weebs are Sonic fans. So no matter what, this is going to be somewhat of a civil war. If the Sonic fans attack. So watch out. Watch out. Hello again. She go outside the church through, the, through a plot hole. Exactly. Exactly. Dolores Day could be a reference to Dorothy Day, a 20th century Catholic social activist. No idea. I don't know enough about um, 20th century Catholic social activists <laughs> to say for sure. I think I might have heard that name before, though, Dor Dorothy Day. I thought Dolores Day sounded familiar. Incremental progress! Yeah! <laughs> Alright. Hi again. So, uh, how are things going? About the church, I checked it out, and he tenses up what happened. I talked to the crab man. Oh man, who is he? What what did you think? He seemed okay, to be honest. Very spiritual. He gave me this old, odd lecture about alcoholism before rambling on and on about mother's love. You were right. He's a true narcomaniac. And the way he climbs, it was terrifying. Number one. 
Really? Huh, interesting. What's he doing in the church? Just preaching and praying from the, from the looks of it. He clearly enjoys the physical activity. Guy climbs like a freak. There's something sinister going on under the building's roof. I think he's getting high or something. Number one, no matter, the paranoid young man mumbles gruffly. Is he going to be a problem? Yeah, Noid is right. Let's get back to the point. What are we going to do about him? Of course he's a problem. He's a crab man. He keeps, he keeps himself physically active, thinks spiritual thoughts, and doesn't drink. Who am I to evict such a person? As far as I can tell, he's not going to leave. He'll climb around up there, and guys, you'll never catch him. <laughs> Actually, he told me he wouldn't mind the nightclub at all. I don't know, man. Doesn't feel like a major hin doesn't feel like a major hindrance to you. He rubs his jaw. A spooky guy climbing around when all the guests are trying to have a nice, friendly hyper time. You're just going to have to live with the crab man. I guess it's not a massive problem now that I think of it. Everyone is welcome to dance till the morning light. Yeah, maybe. Uh, I guess we'll figure something out. Okay, but what about the other spooker, the one in Grandma's clothes? Did you see her? I was using I was using the mainframe when Suna, the formerly programmer, Fortress Accident uh, appeared. That's the only way to talk about her. Okay, a programmer. That's odd. What was she like? Did you ask her about the nightclub? She did. She did not like the Anadic dance club idea. What a pity. That's my favorite thing in the world. He drops a hammer back into the into a toolbox, and she doesn't like it at all. A shame. He sighs. What can we do now? Do you see a way out of this jam and into a laser fit future of dance and unity? Unity, dance. She made it very clear that she won't leave until her own project is finished. And you can't just evict her? No, I won't evict her. We have to come up with a different solution. Look at you, honor man. No, Noid, he's right. Maybe we've approached it the wrong way after all. I'm sure there's a workaround. We can make a deal not to bother her. If that's okay with her, we only want to get in the church and spread the joy and ecstasy of music. The lines in the dark exist. <laughs> Coexist. <laughs> at least Cryman seems like an advanced being. He's hard. He'll understand. Yeah, he can do his climbing thing in the tower. And the programmer, does she like Anadic dance music? She absolutely does not. Really, truly despises it. Egghead cannot believe what you just said. It makes him pump the jam a little slower for a moment. And then he returns to the full swing of it. No worries, we'll figure it out. The man nods enthusiastically, then leans in and whispers, If coexisting fails, you can always muscle her out, right? If it's all okay with you, what do you think? Perhaps if you drop the drug lab, it might make it easier, easier to convince her. I refuse to throw her out, but I can try convincing her. He looks around in the tent. Aw, oh, man, but the drug lab was like an integral part of, the, of getting the club going. For me, it was my favorite part. Chemistry is great. Besides, imagine all the drugs we could do if we had our own drug lab. I mean, anodic, anodic music is great and all, but drugs, they make you feel really good. When did you last feel really, really good? I don't have time to feel good. I'm a very busy officer of the law. Pull up, pull out that stick, lawman. You absolutely love drugs. They'll make you feel trans transcendent. I refuse to throw her out, but I can try convincing her. Proceed to the quest. He smiles wide like a replica of his friend with large head. Excellent. Good luck, my friend. That's it. Good boss. Really? Now we're going back? Wow, someone's been a wow, so someone's been a little boring. What? Yes, my standard liege. Someone's seen all sorts of wild ideas pop off and thought, I'll take the boring one, the regular, please, the brown. I like brown, I like standards. Look, I'm trying to do my job, no need for extravagant extravagance. What is this, picking on me for, for not being crazy enough? That's the least of my concerns. No need to be defensive. The regularity and brownness, the cut and dry have their appeal, a very standard appeal. What? Of course you do. Let's let's get right to it. My lord's copotype is regular cop. I'll let everyone know. I'll send out a telefax. Wait, will this be my copotype now? Yes, the type of cop you are, sire. Think of it as a caste, a class even, a nation of regular law officials that you belong to. It comes, of course, with the usual benefits. Yeah, no need. Let's keep that announcement on on standby for now. Opt out. Good, good. Of course, to outright to outright declare yourself something does seem a bit too interesting now doesn't it i won't trouble you any further i don't want to be regular cop no way do you find it weird that you don't have a choice to arrest them anymore and they went back on their drug lab idea even though you threatened them yeah it's a little off can we tell a seal that um that it wasn't a crab man no all right Oh shit, we're going the wrong way.
Lol, what a normie. Exactly. Normie streamery. Yes, what is it? What if I just force you to leave? I'm a police officer, you have to do what I say. What if you didn't have to leave? I talked to Andre, he wants to make it work. I don't want to make anything work, she replies, her expression unchanged. Hold on, you don't want to make anything work? Yes, anything. I don't want to make anything work. It's not the anodic, anodic dance music that's made her bitter. It's the failure of Fortress Accident. Are you bitter because your radio game project failed? That's right, something strange shines in her eyes. If we couldn't get our Welkins to happen, I don't want anything to happen ever again. There's a... Tr there's not a trace of irony in her voice. She means it. Convince her to cooperate with the ravers. 72%. What could go wrong? Easy. When her research is done, she can move out. Listen, about your research, you mentioned earlier that it's not going very well. Maybe I can help with something. What? She looks up from her work, disoriented. No, I really don't. I, I don't really need help, any help with the project, but if you could help, but if I could help you finish the project, then you wouldn't have to live in a church next to the boom boom anymore. Just think about it. She thinks about it, a glassy look in her eyes. A gust of wind brings more snow in from the broken gallery. It, it touches her hair. All right, she finally says, blinking twice, bring me the game's off-site copy from my old workspace if you really want to help. It's stored on a filament memory and I'm unable to go and fetch it myself. We already have this. What is this off-site copy? It's a backup of my former employer's, co employer's project, the radio game we were working on. It's stored on a filament memory, just like the one inside this radio computer. She points to the glowing cube inside the machine. The backup itself is destroyed now, but I'm hoping to use what's left of it to pinpoint the exact location of the anomaly. You just have to go to my old workspace and get the filament. Hold on, if it's called an off-site copy, then why is it still on-site? If it's called an off-site copy, then why is it still on-site? Oh god, not this again. She takes a deep breath before letting it, letting it all out. It is not on site it is in the basement perfectly safe and not connected to the front at all basement sounds like it's technically still on site <laughs> and no taking it outside the building wouldn't have protected it from data loss there's nothing wrong with keeping the backup in the basement what happened was a freak accident that has nothing to do with how the backup was stored we clear she stares at you with pleading furious eyes this is clearly a painful topic for her she must have had to explain herself numerous times is this the filament you're looking for? No, that's the production schedule you stole on access without authorization. She's tapping the table in a badly concealed impatience. I don't need it. In his defense, it was simply lying in a desk drawer of an abandoned cubicle. Damn, Kim got our back. Kim is best boy. Kim is best boy. In his defense, it was simply lying. Okay, so if we had an emote for Kim, all right, what kind of expression could Kim do that that people would use? I feel like we need we need an emote to commemorate the the Disco Elysium run. The usual one is it, it needs there needs to be some expression tied to most emotes I think for them to, to be successful. Unironically, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now nah, that then, then the weaves would win. Oh, I'm sorry. Hold on, let me check. All right, uh, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Um. How close are we to being to enabling it? Oh, uh, 997,540,000. No, no, we can't do that. Silent disappointment. By your old workspace, workspace, do you mean the studio, Fortress Accent, and the Doom commercial area? Yeah, that's the that's the one. You can get in through the bookshop. You just have to do some explaining to the bookstore lady. Wait, bookstore lady, you mean Placence? That's her name, I believe. Actually, I've already been inside the Doom commercial area. Good, then you might know the giant ice bear fridge in the building cellar. The filament is inside the fridge. Just go and get it. Where where we put the body? Where we put the corpse? And where exactly is the off-site copy? In the giant ice bear fridge. Oh, no. I just... We put, a, we put a corpse in there. It is giant red, red glowing eyes. It's impossible to miss. You just need to get the off-site copy from the ice bear. But you've been to the fridge and it wasn't there. There was a note saying... I found a note from the ice bear fridge. It said the off-site copy had been moved to a safer place. She freezes. Wait, a note from whom? Did it specify where they took the filament memory? It said the offsite copy had been taken to a nearby ice cream maker. The note, the note was si signed by someone named Susala. Swazia. Zvasisva? I don't know. Of course, she relaxes. Our project lead, Sulasla Zavasva. Oh my god, god. He always. He was always so hell-bent on keeping the copy somewhere safe and feature creep, she mutters. <laughs> the Valley of the Heads. <laughs> oh, like it would have made a difference. The offsite copy was perfectly safe when the data loss happened. That data loss was anomalous. She crosses her arms defiantly. Kim Blind? Ooh, Kim Blind might work. 
and the heads i won't even get into the heads millions of them she stops go find that copy from the ice cream maker will you thanks i found the ice cream maker but couldn't get it open it's completely frozen by the way we put a dead body in that fridge wait what she looks up alarmed whose dead body you know we don't actually have to tell the entire world about the fridge the lieutenant says looking at you whose body is it she demands again staring at you first then back at lieutenant it's the body of the hanged man and what is it doing in the fridge? It's almost as if she feels some sort of ownership with the fridge. Don't worry, I put it there temporarily. It's all part of the an official police investigation. You put it there. She leans back, massaging her eyelids. You put a dead body inside the ice bear fridge. Just wanted to, just wanted to let you know. Okay, she says, pressing her fingers into her into her eyebrow ridge. Very cool. Thanks for keeping me in the loop. You're welcome. We appreciate it if you kept the song to yourself, miss. Who would I tell? My mother? She shakes her frizzy head. I don't have anyone to tell, and if I did, I wouldn't. I don't care. Why can't you go get the film at yourself? The bookstore lady hates me, says I'm part of the curse, whatever that means. Wait, are you part of the curse? Of course not. She crosses her arms. Anyway, I don't have my... Didn't deny the curse's existence, though. Anyway, I don't have my keys anymore, and she won't let me in. Why does she think you're part of the curse? Because she's from Martinez, and people from Martinez have never, ever, have never ever seen a radio computer. She thinks it emits elemental evil. That's a bit biased, don't you think? No, she stares at you with droopy eyes. She literally started praying for the higher powers when she first saw my REM Civic. I'm not making this up, Lieutenant coughs like he's amused. Once I came in one morning, only to find that my terminal was full of those strange trinkets and amulets, wards, it looked like some seminine magic. Alright, I found the ice cream maker but couldn't get it open, it's completely frozen. This is getting ridiculous, can't you just defrost it? Or, or I don't know, I don't know about, about the ice cream maker, just figure something out. There's a solution, but she doesn't want to hand it over to you yet. It's a thing, something she holds dear. Okay. Thanks. She thinks for a moment, then reaches behind the radio computer and hands you what looks like an oversized pry bar. And here's my Kvalsund multi-tool. It might You might need it to hack loose some ice. It opens everything. If you get me the off-site copy, then you can keep the Kvalsund. It hurts a bit for her to say this. She's not too happy parting with the with the, the Kvalsund. Nice. Alright. Cool. Equip this to open locked containers in the world. Oh, we didn't have anything held this whole- Oh my god, it's huge! What the fuck? It's like a fucking surge weapon! Okay, so assuming 100 people are dedicated to the Ayaya cause, and assuming you return to the full schedule, it will take us a literal uh, 16 years to reach Ayaya. Damn. Good luck, weebs. Good luck. Sounds like you got some converting to do. People to the cause. I'm not going to be streaming 16 years from now, so you got to work on it, weebs. Unless... People are asleep for the night. The store's closed for a day. Time to put kids to sleep. Well, we have our Kraus thing. We can just rip it open. Oh, okay. Thank you, Zalik20. Did I just miss something there? Yeah, okay. Sounds like life in the north. A washborn. A washboard scrums filth from fabric. Uh, thank you for the new sub, Zalik22. Welcome to primetime. Welcome to Pelt Patrol slash Pickle Jar. Whatever cringe you want. Thank you, Ralph Cogs, for some bits. Cheer, but seems skim, and he looks disapproving. And still giving a thumbs up. Can you do can you do it again? The seems good one in chat, Ralph Cogs, because I don't see it on my list. Balcony guy? Balcony guy. That's a weird thing to say. Hmm. Thank you, Celestino, for the new Silver Prime. Welcome to Prime Time. Thank you very much. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to the pickle jar. Welcome to the Rub It Up Sub Club. Thank you, Celestino. Sea breeze carries more than salt meat. Not rotten, f not fresh, grilled. What? Who's grilling meat? Seventy percent done, eighty percent done. Really? I'm not close to the end. Oh damn. Oh, 
Oh no, am I really? Oh, is this, uh, I shouldn't say this. Is this the kind of game that just, that just stops? Don't answer that, just, he doesn't know. He doesn't know, he doesn't know, he doesn't know. What if we have both in our hands? Jean de Marie, you found me. Young man on the balcony gives you a bright smile before taking another drag from a cigarette. His slender figure is backlit by city lights, its distant streets and motorways flashing like diamonds. It feels like a Friday. He seems to be in a good mood tonight. We found a key hidden under stone. Was it yours? It was mine. My friends use it from time to time to visit me. As he looks at you, something sparkles in his eyes. So tell me, are you here to make things right again? That's what I'm aiming for, yes. Honestly, I'm just trying not to screw anything up. I'm not going to make things just right. I'm going to make them spectacular. Ignore his question. I was hoping to talk to a possible witness. Your balcony overlooks the murder scene. Then I have some good news for you. His eyes narrow. A nearby street lamp casts shadows on his chin, drawing out the slender cheekbones. My Sunday friend is visiting me tonight. I told him about you, and he'd like to say hello. Step in. He's already waiting. Nods toward. He nods towards door number 28. All right, I feel like... I feel like we're this is a, we're gonna lose a kidney, or something else. By the way, I'm really digging the view here. Point to the city skyline. Sure. Mm-hmm. That's why I chose this place. He looks away, his cigarette end glowing in the dark. Martinez is a special, isn't it? Wait, suddenly you're digging things. Lieutenant whispers to you, shaking his head. Is it Friday tonight? It feels like a Friday. Yeah, it does feel like the end of the week. Such gentle weather. Why would I want to meet your friend? Trust me, you do. Very well, talk to him, but first I want to talk to you. I have so many questions. That's nice, but I don't have to tell, have anything to tell you. It's my friend you're looking for, not me. He takes another drag of his unfiltered cigarette and looks around. It's getting dark, and the neighboring windows have lit up one by one. Downstairs, a cat crosses the yard, disappearing into the bush. Besides, I've got to run. Run where? But I just found you again. Go if you must. I don't care. I don't care about people leaving me all the time. <laughs> run where? To the city. He gestures idly toward distant motorways. It's a beautiful night. A man on high heels stumbles out of a basement club, music blasting over the entire district. It's chilly, and as the chemicals hit his nervous system, a thousand shivers ripple through his body. Only if you promise that we'll talk again. It's important. Something flutters in your in the corner of the lieutenant's mouth as you're saying those words. We'll talk. The smoke the smoker assures you, brushing his hand through the, through the hair. Through the hair? Just not tonight. Take care, all right. Oh, wow, this is like a like a big deal. Take care, all right. All right. And he's gone again. Looks like it's becoming a theme for him. He's always leaving. Why is he always leaving, Kim? There's something so different about him that I just can't put my finger on. Who knows, detective? It's a mystery, he says, turning his face away from you. Something so different. Different, of course. His shirt. Why is his shirt always unbuttoned? He's such a good listener. I like talking to him. There's just something so mysterious about the way he talks and moves. He smells good. Why on earth does he smell good? Um, Harry? <laughs> his shirt. Lieutenant squints his eyes, trying to hold back laughter. His shirt. His shirt. He's trying to dive into it, into, into the, trying to dive deep into the mysteries of his shirt. His shirt. No, I don't think... I, I don't know. I don't know why his shirt is always unbuttoned. His mouth tightens as, as if to try to hold something back. Come on, detective. Let's go. We've got a potential witness to interview. His Sunday friend, remember? He nods at the apartment door before you. All right. So is Zyril the Axis Overlord or something here? Yeah, he, he self self-proclaimed. He saw a vacuum of power and he claimed it. If you guys want to overthrow him, I'm okay with that. I'm not going to help though. A quarterly business magazine. Governmental issues take me all over Ravishal, as you can see. Expensive men's perfume lingers in the air. An old photo of the same apartment dated year 01. Buckets of paint on the, on the, on the layer of old newspapers. Someone is always watching. Is that guy like... Is he a prostitute? Dish is soaked up in a pot. An empty ashtray. Flyers for underground parties. Dates for open lectures at a locally for open lectures at a local university. 
An exquisite canopy bed made of metal. I'm a policeman. You have acquired the robe. Keep it, officer. It looks good on you. My name is Charles Villedron. I am an official with the coalition government. I work for the Institute of Price Stability on assignment from Sir Le Clef. I heard you talking to my friend outside. Very good. Super. I'm here to assist you in any way possible. Ask me about the hanging. Hanging, what a drag. He seems like a cultured gentleman. You should ask him about the finer things. Point of the bed, before we go on, I absolutely have to inquire about this wonderful canopy. Point to the silk robe. Before we get to that, tell me where you got this beautiful silk robe from. What's going on? What 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 happened to Harry? Show him the Samaritan hat. We'll get to that right after you tell me about the story behind this black Samaritan hat. Get Get down to business. All right. Oh yes, my friend has a great eye for these things. He refuses to tell me where it came from. It's, um, it's a mystery. <laughs> I believe they call this type of frame industrial. It's very comfy. That's really all I can tell you about it. He forms a little rooftop with his fingers. Cold air sweeps in from the balcony. Lieutenant takes out his notebook and nods to you. Uh, not to proceed. Oh, that's all we got to ask? I thought we got to ask all of them. God damn it. You actually witnessed the lynching? I'm sorry to say I did, officer. The man gives a solemn nod. Turns to the lieutenant. This is just the break we've been looking for. Is it because you did it, Mr. <laughs> Start from the beginning if you don't mind. Officer, it's very difficult to describe what I saw that night. It was so surreal to me, like, like in a play. He holds out his hands and blossoms his fingers like a drama teacher setting the scene. Lieutenant is already scribbling down notes. What do you mean, like in a play? It was just so strange, I could barely comprehend what was happening. I was on the balcony when it happened, getting some fresh air. I remember that first that first they came in, carrying what looked like a body, and then I saw all the surrounding windows go dead one by one. That's when I understood I should not be seeing this. Sounds like the victim was unconscious, or at least incapacitated. Well done, detective. He nods to you. Who, who were they? Can you describe them? I couldn't see their faces well, and there were quite a few of them, but they were very loud and very martinet as he pauses, looking for the right wording. Let's just say that the laboring classes can get rather expressive with their profanities. How many of them were there? I couldn't tell you exactly. Less than ten, maybe eight? Lieutenant sends you a sharp look at the mention of that number. Were any of them huge, like 200 kilograms huge? Th that's a giant you're describing. No, they were all quite human, so as far as I could tell. Did any of them look like drummers? Drummers? Why, no, but then I don't know what a drummer's supposed to look like. I think we can drop the drummer angle. Lieut <laughs> <laughs> Lieutenant says impatiently, that was my bad. What happened next? I went back inside. Were you able to see anything from inside? Officer, the yard was pitch black. There was nothing to see, but I could still hear the vo the vo their voices. They were threatening to kill that poor man. <sighs> were they men, women? All men, I presume, but again, I couldn't see very clearly. What ethnicity were they? I believe they were mostly white, though I believe I saw two Areopagites -pag among them, and I'm quite certain that one spoke with a Mesca accent. What happened next? Well, that's the strangest part, officer. Nothing happened. It was an oddly quiet. F it was oddly quiet for a public lynching. What do you mean nothing happened? They lynched a guy. Eventually their shouts died down and that was all. There were no there were no gunshots, no celebratory shouts, no anything. But we know he was shot. Why didn't you call the RCM? Did we confirm that he was shot before he died? Like, I, I don't think it was 100% confirmed, but it's suspected, right? Why did you call the RCM? The man wipes his glasses. You're right, of course. That is what one is supposed to do in such circumstances. I was simply in shock. I'm afraid I don't have anything else to add. About what time was all this happening, approximately? All I can say is that it was late. So, let me get this straight. You didn't actually witness the hanging itself, did you? No, I didn't see the corpse until the following day. Well, that was a waste of time. Those are all my questions. Thanks for your help. 
Of course, anything I can, anything I can do to assist the RCM. What's an official like you doing in Martinez? The coalition is only looking for out for the price stability. He raises an index finger. Inflation is a killer, like a heart disease blocking the normal circulation of the economy. It must be controlled. Sorry, I'm, I'm more of a communist, so I don't really understand the economy. The economy impacts the entire international community, which is why it requires international oversight. Okay, well, what are you doing here in this apartment? Ah, well, I'm renovating it. It is an interesting project. The building used to be a 12-story skyscraper before the cannons took the top four stories off. This, of course, happened when the coalition forces landed here. He smiles. You could say I'm undoing some of the material damage the international community caused when we arrived here. <laughs> so you're some kind of bureaucrat. Bureaucrat. Yes, as I said before, I'm a commissioner from Sir Le Clef, working for the Institute of Price Stability. He glances at his watch. This is one of the main projects of the moral intern. Wait, there is actually an Institute of Price Stability. Wait, there isn't actually an Institute of Price Stability, is there? Or maybe there is. God, it's impossible to understand whether someone uh, from the moral intern is joking or not. This is true. What is this international community? La communitat, 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 what the fuck? International is what the Revolutionians colloquially call the coalition. In other words, the nations that stop the disaster of the revolution. What is the Price Stability? It is the most important thing that doesn't tell me anything. It's the central goal of any sound monetary policy. Maintaining the price stability is essential to maintaining high. I smell a thought to maintaining high levels of economic activity, which is essential for maintaining high levels of employment, which is essential for maintaining the social stability. Basically, it makes sure the price of bread doesn't change. Precise a month, too much inflation, bread becomes too expensive, too much deflation, it becomes too cheap for bakers to produce. That's why the Institute of Price Stability works to keep inflation just below 2%. Damn, below 2% of what? This is fascinating, I'll ask you something else. But not too far below, no. Too, too below is also bad. Below, but close to 2%. You're not answering my questions at all. What? The coalition believes in the importance of informing the public about the benefits of zip price stability. Transparency is one of our principles. Would you like an inf informational pamphlet? No, I'm good. Sure, give me a leaflet. A sound monetary policy is essential for addressing uncertainty. Stability is the raison d'etre of the moral intern. It's the reason why I identify as a moralist. <laughs> Butchered that. He pats his pockets. Uh... But, oh, I don't have my leaflets on me today. Too bad. You can always call our information line. Making information available is part of the moral intern's commitment to transparency. I've heard about this moral intern before, but I want to know more. It's the International Organization for Moralists, hence Moralists International. The Institute of Price Stability is just one of, of, of its many mind babies, as is the coalition. Damn, where's Kojima? Turn to Kim. So when I said I was a thrall to foreign interests, what I should have said is that I'm more, a moral intern bitch. Doing one's job doesn't automatically make any make one anyone's bitch. Besides, there are more nefarious powers to work for than the moral intern. Turn back to Thomas. Are you a moralist? Of course. But of course. But why? Because moralists believe in a normal, stable world governed by, democrat, de governed by democratic uh, values. Lieutenant, are you a moralist? Hmm, me, I, uh... I am a lieutenant of the RCM dedicated to maintaining law and order of Ravishal. That was a no. A very moralist answer, the man nods. That was a no. Lieutenant is practiced in the art of putting on a show for one's superiors. But what is normal? What, what, what is a normal, stable world? Is Kim a communist? <gasps> the Ostinant is part of the normal world. Or Orange... I, can, I can't remember how to say that. Say this. Orana? Orana? Not sure. Hmm. Sir Leclef. Martinez doesn't seem very normal or stable to me. Martinez? No, Martinez is something else. What about the rest of Revachal? Is it part of the normal world? Revachal is generally difficult. It's led by an inter interim government, which means it hasn't yet achieved full democracy. But they are working toward it. You're all doing very well here, relatively speaking. He gives you an approving nod. I don't think I'm a moralist. Moralism sounds incredibly boring. I want more action. Moralism is the ideology of foreign occupiers. Revachal must be governed by Revachalians. Democracy is a meaningless sham as long as the working class is under the boot heel of, of capital. <laughs> it's like every time I'm talking to people, I'm choosing option D. None of the above. Is that moralism? 
is this option D usually the most reasonable answer? Yes, everything else is super extreme. Like, it's it's like I'm living with a bunch of lunatics. Sounds like you're a moralist indeed, my friend. Welcome. Incremental progress! Moralism is all about compromise and achieving the achievable. It's pragmatic, realistic, and level-headed. An ideology for doers. Are you a doer, my friend? It looks to me like you are. How's it going, Lily Bell? Okay, sorry. Yeah? I was talking about baby food, and I'm like, oh shit, I was supposed to break a drink. Okay. I look at the time and I'm like, it's going to be over. It's okay. So have you forgiven me for becoming a Redditor yet? Why are you a Redditor? Last time I played Disco Elysium, my saves come, so I'm a Redditor now. I told you about it. You got really mad, remember? Oh, have you, yeah. Have you forgiven me? No. I'm still in the friend zone? Yeah. Oh, you hear that, my viewers? Milady has put me in the friend zone. La friend zone. Put him in his place, you guys. <sighs> La woe is me. See if you can redeem yourself. Did you know that after 9-11, Steve Buscemi, uh, who was a firefighter, went back and uh, rejoined the force to help them at Ground Zero? I did not know that. Did you, did you know that, um, that when filming Lord of the Rings, Christopher Lee... Uh, had a scene where someone was stabbed and Peter Jackson told him what to do and Peter Jack and Christopher Lee says that's not what someone sounds like when they get stabbed and I know because I've heard someone die when they get stabbed and it sounds like this instead did you know that? so you're just going to spew all these random facts at me because you're a Redditor? Is they're not random facts they're Redditor facts are they? reposted weekly on a schedule okay I'm not a Redditor so I don't know any of this <sighs> Did you know that after sex you have to you have to pee right away or else you might get a UTI? Redditors plan for this. If a redditor ever has sex sometime in the future, you know, if it happens, red alert. As soon as they're done, they run to the bathroom and they immediately start pissing while calling into the room saying, "Milady, you must pee as well after this because you will get a UTI if you don't pee after you have sex." Does the fedora stay on? Well, you you just sit there and, dr and drink guzzle water while you're doing it, right? With the fedora on, because how else are you going to be able to pee on cue like that? What if you don't have to go right then and there? What if, what if you, you know, you don't have enough in your bladder, so... You got, like, what, like a two-liter bottle sitting beside the bed? Le challenge accepted. lack information, but uh, I liked it like that. I, I preferred it like that. Thank you for the drink. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you for playing along. You're welcome. See you later, you guys. Are you a moralist? I live in here, probably not. Okay, alright. Moralism is all about compromise and achieving the achievable. It's pragmatic, realistic, and level-headed. An I ideology for doers. Are you a doer, my friend? It looks to me like you are. Not enough of this delightful political interlude. Was there anything else you wanted to ask? I am drinking a Sprite Zero, by the way. Normally, whenever I stream, I'm drinking, I'm drinking this tea or water. Now and then I'll have a Coke, though. Tell me about Sir Leclef. What's there to say? Sir Leclef is a modern urbanized county, country that measures very high on the human development and freedom index. Mostly, though, it's known as the ex ex executive heart of Epis. Epis these nuts! Moreover, it is a great sponsor of less emerged countries. Revachal is only one of its many darlings whose progress it supports and cherishies. Darlings? That can't be the, the unofficial designation. What makes Revachal Sir Leclef's darling? Because a great percentage of Revachal's culture hails from Sir Leclef. Its language, its people, its cuisine even. Or at least in the downtown La Delta area. I can't imagine farmers in this world, by the way. Jamrock and other parts of the international zone have been mercifully spared of Sir Leclef's love for meatballs and mashed potatoes. Tell me of or Orania. Orania is an, an exemplary nation who, as a core member of EPIS, contributes 28% of our annual budget. Next to Sir Leclef, Orania is probably the most prominent member of the international community. Which one of them is more EPIS? 
As founding members, they are all they are, are they are both very epis. Oranya carries a lot of political weight, while Sir Leclef takes care of the business side of things. Sir Leclef hosts the headquarters of the major epis institutions. Okay, but outside of epis, what is Oranya? Oranya's economy is one of the most advanced in the world. It has successfully transitioned from heavy industry to advanced services, and generally acts as an engine for sustainable change in the international community. Yeah, it's it's always it's always a sign of of progress when you don't make anything anymore, and it's just about moving money around. But that didn't tell you anything about Aranya. Can't you just talk like a normal person? About what? About Aranya. Just tell me what it's like there. Oh, it's very urban and very well organized. Their streets are clean. Their house, their, their horse cars run on time. The people are polite and efficient. Like I said, they are an example for less emerged nations to follow. Hmm. Enough business. Let's talk about something else. Can you tell me about your friend? Ah, my friend. My friend is a good young man. His family immigrated from Kedra and life has not been easy for him. Immigrated here, sorry. Um, but he understands the importance of education. He has taken his future into his own hands, and that's all that matters. What's Kedra? Kedra is a candidate member of Epis, but between you and me, their potential membership is is a more contentious issue. What do you mean? That it's never going to happen. They entered negotiations in twenty one, and it's and it's been pending ever since. What this? What's this Epis thing you keep talking about? Epis is a very special program developed by the Moral Intern to support certain Occidental nations. It began a unified system of weights and measures, which proved to be a wild success. Nothing but kilograms and centimeters, as far as the eye can see. God, yes, sweet standardization, the backbone of rationality and commerce. It was such a wild success that we expanded it into an economic union for the processing of steel another success and between you and me the moral intern feels emboldened by the success emboldened to take epis to the next level okay but like what does it stand for why it stands for the for progress and stability like the moral intern as a whole no what do the letters stand for it's been such a wild extraordinary success thus far we are very excited to take it to the next level you don't even hear the words i'm saying do you a supranational political alliance the united states of occident is it going to be like this place here you mean rubbish no, it's going to be. It's going to have transparent democracy. Is Revachal going to be part of Epis? It's one day. It's it is one day going to be a candidate member of Epis. Sure. Huh. Uh, this game's great. Except that candidate members never become full members, do they? Didn't you say that candidate members never become real members? No, no. Candidate members do become members. Why do we even have the whole system in place if they don't? It just takes time, time and evaluation. But we were talking about my friend here, not politics. He chuckles gently. Uh, how did you two even become friends? How did any of us become friends? Bad things happening on the Insuludian Isola. Oil platforms ablaze in the night, civil wars lasting for years. Finally, the international community is forced to step in. What are you talking about? No one becomes friends that way. All contraire, damn, the German. It's how millions of people end up where they are meeting the people they meet. It's how I came here, and my friend too. You still haven't told me who he is. Sorry, who? The man throws a quick glance at his watch. Your friend, the smoker on the balcony. We were just talking about him, but I told you, officer, he's a bright young man here to pursue his education. Education is the foundation of our future, especially the arts. It's a cornerstone of our civilization. Harry, I would like to murder this man. Can we do it? I would like to murder- Kim, Kim will do it, okay? Kim will do it. We're fucking role-playing as the guy from Katana Zero now, apparently. I would like to murder this man. Kim will be our accomplice. We'll put him in the fridge. Fine, what's his real name? Officer, you have to understand, I can't give you his personal information. I can't give you his personal information. I just read that twice. I'm having a stroke. I'm sure you have your own methods and databases, right? Please don't put me in this situation. So all you can tell me about him is that he's here to study the arts. He's deeply enmeshed, enmeshed in the study of, fine, of, his, of the fine arts, yes. As though you weren't envious enough of the boy as is. <laughs> <laughs> Which arts? He's truly, a, truly a free spirit. He likes all the arts. Perhaps graphic design, printmaking. Who knows? You certainly don't. The world is open wide for a talented youth like him. What are you doing in this apartment by yourself? I'm just enjoying the view. The man smiles, nodding to the window. What view? It's dark outside. Listen, he says, raising his hand. A baby is crying in the neighboring apartment. Waves crashing in the distance. The sound of, of sea below the window. I can hear the waves. The Insulidian Bay. What about it? 
This place used to be a luxury accommodation before the revolution. Apartments, of course, were much bigger then. A few walls have been added here and there, leaving some of the tenants without a private bathroom or a kitchen. But the million real, real view stays. You can't take that away. He knocks on the balcony door, his face mirrored in the darkened glass. I was asking about your friend. My friend comes and goes. I'm sure you'll see him around. He's a busy bee. A busy bee. What an odd choice of words. I had something else in mind. I'm all yours, officer. Thanks. I got all I need. A moan, officer. Do you have everything you need from me? I'm afraid we won't have the chance to speak again once you leave. Hold on. Why can't we talk later? Later. It's against diplomatic best pra practices for an official in my position to be discussing murders with local militiamen, he pauses, and I'm pressed for time. After you leave, I should be leaving as well. That's not the real reason he's so apprehensive. Men in his position shouldn't be seen loitering around in underprivileged young men's apartments in the middle of the night. Hmm, I'm not going anywhere. I just want to take a look around his apartment. Sure, go ahead. It's a beautiful space. He glances at his watch. Let me know if you have any further questions. Kim, Kim, we gotta talk. Yes? We gotta talk. Alright, I'm leaving now. Should we tell him? Maybe it'll progress something. Was there anything else? I don't think conclusions should be rushed at this point. Zero seven Firo redeemed use 20k on literally nothing instead of Ayaya. What a hero. What a he doesn't give a shit about double Ayaya tomorrow. Wasting 20 today. Couldn't wait. Couldn't wait to waste the coins. Couldn't wait. Couldn't wait. You know what? In honor of just the sheer audacity of 07 Firo, I'm going to triple this one. You wasted 60k coins on literally nothing instead of Ayaya. 60k. Just gone. Congratulations, Zero. Congratulations. That's the biggest waste yet. God damn. In awe of this lad. In awe. Five Tiger Five has said I will I will say on stream your waifu is best girl. Give me the name, Five Five Tiger Five. Five Tiger Five, who is it? And Serial says we are outraged. <laughs> is it zero? Is zero best girl, Five Tiger Five? Uh, Western animation. Oh my god. Oh, oh, holy shit. Holy shit. That, oh, that's so good. That is so good. Holy shit. Ah. Uh, Western animation is best girl and is the waifu of Five Tiger Five. Damn, how will Weebs ever recover? How will they ever recover? By the way, um, where's the dad joke calendar? We haven't done that, right? What was the last one we did? This one already, it was the gig one. My mom bought me a cheap dictionary for my birthday. I couldn't find the words to thank her. Did I did I skip over some days by accident or something? How do we do this one already? Maybe we skip the head by accident. Why did the clown wear loud socks so his feet wouldn't fall asleep? <sighs> my mom bought me a cheap dictionary for my birthday. I couldn't find the words to thank her. I'm pretty sure we said that one already, didn't we? Or maybe it's it's it, there's these are in the the dad joke books. Did you guys see Stephen King's dad joke on Twitter? Stephen King said... Um, he wanted to start making honey, so he, he went to the store and bought a dozen bees... 
but they gave him 13 and he said I only wanted a dozen and then the storekeeper said don't worry that's a freebie <laughs> pretty good pretty good all right let's open this um what should we call it the fridge communism jokes aren't funny unless everyone gets it exactly ralph clogs exactly Incremental progress. Can you open that door aside? No, we tried. We can't do it. It's still... what? It's still... wait, is it because we have both equipped? Wow, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Holy shit, it doesn't even matter. Wow. All right, so we need to get physical instrument up. Whoops, wrong ones. Did we have physical instrument gloves? I thought for sure we had physical instrument gloves. Maybe I'm getting mix mixed up with interfacing gloves. <sighs> Minus two. Pain threshold. Okay, is our physical instrument? Yeah, okay, well that's it. All right, we just, we look ridiculous. All right. 8%. Nice. I squeaks beneath your Caval Sun multi-tool, but your fingers slip away from the tool. The lid shut as tightly as before. It's already unplugged. There's not much else to do other than wait for the defrost or bulk up to get stronger. Okay, so if we wait longer, will it, will it defrost? Alright, that's it. We can't. We can never try this again. Alright. Never ever again. We can ever try this again. How do we level up our, phys our physique? Oh shit, we have, we have this one going right now. Fuck. Oh, well. Oh, whoops. Shit. Sorry, my finger slipped. My finger slipped. My finger slipped. All right. I'll come back when the thought is done. I'll try again. We did it, Reddit. Hey, did you guys know there's a really good song from this the, the, the Smash indie hit movie Drive? It's called Night Call. Have you heard it? It's a really good song. You should check it out. No one else has heard of this song before. I heard it, though, and I'm, I'm suggesting it to you. It's a really great song. Pause the thought. I don't know how that works. You can pause the thought. 
If you can just pause the thought, what's the point of them then? I'll just wait for it to be done. I'll just wait. It's fine. I feel like the litany of contact mic should make it so you um you leveled up your physique, unlock more physique stuff. This thought takes 20 hours to complete. Yeah, so we'll come back when we're done. Something to look forward to. All right, so are there any checks that we haven't we haven't gone gone back and looked at in a while? Volition, we can go and try Volition with Classia. Suggestion with Lillian. After after Kim goes to bed, right? We could go do that. Let's go try Volition with Classia. She's made around four months pay of payments on for this room. Wow, that's a lot of real. Holy shit, where's she getting all this real from? I wish there were fewer loading screens. I understand why, but at the same time, it's not. It's not the best. Okay, so we want volition, right? Oh my god, we're wearing the clothes that, he, that that her ex-lover was wearing for to do this check. Fucking great. Okay, so Volition, that's as high as we're getting it. All right. We look ridiculous. Okay, and just to double check that we didn't unlock it before, I don't think we did. I was just thinking what a nice evening it is for taking part in a murder investigation. Damn, just like the last time, like brown eyes look back at you. All is as it was. You feel a, you feel cigarette fume rise from her lips. She's just as beautiful. Don't worry, we will protect you from her beauty. We will consult you through the reefs and sounds of her persona. We will see through deceits. You are shielded, you are wise. You are advised. There are muscles on long white bones that line her limbs just below the silver jumpsuit. Avert your eyes. That's such a cool interaction. All right, level of volition. Try again. I was just thinking what a nice evening it is. 42%. For taking part in a murder investigation. Soft, light brown eyes look back at you, directly into the space behind your eye sockets. You see the smoke rise from between her painted red lips. She's beautiful. I have bad news for you. What? You know these guys? Who, me? Yes, you. He's talking about you, you boring stiff. You too. Me? What did I do? I'm merely a master thespian. These guys are compromised. She's got them singing along to her tune. The little bleeps and bloops you trust for info. You can't trust them anywhere. Uh, anymore. Oh my god. Believe it. Which ones are effect exactly are affected? How did this happen? Does this mean she's been lying to me? What is her plan? I've been talking to myself long enough. Let's get back to it. Which ones are affected? There's no way of knowing. At the moment, I'm afraid it's best to assume all of them. Bullshit, man. I ain't compromised. Especially that guy. That guy's the most comp compromised one here. Electrochemistry. No fucking way, man. I just want to drag her that sweet menthol's s Siggy. Really? Quick, tell me what's under her jumpsuit. Glory, truth, softness, protector. She wants. <laughs> I took it back. He's got it pretty bad, but this guy's this this next guy's on another level entirely. She likes you. The crown head is a, is a boring condom. He's jealous. This is human nature. How did this happen? How it always does through subtlety. 
there's nothing you can do about it. You are how you are how you are, and she is how she is. Things will go as they go. Can't you turn the normal again? No. What use is this then? It's better to know you're being played than to be played without knowing it, is it not? Does this mean she's been lying to me? Yes, Mr. Thespian here has been singing pans to how truthful she is. She isseth a lady a lady will spare you. <laughs> Drama is a redditor. Milady, in his defense, to reduce him to such inadequacy, she probably had to employ half the truths more often than outright lies. That is correct. And omissions, too. Can I trust that guy? A little. They're all still of limited use, interpreting things to the best of their ability. Maybe they add flair or something? I wouldn't know. I don't add flair. But when it comes to assessments of character and factual accuracy, they are not to be trusted. Not with her. Can I trust any of them ever again? Don't be melodramatic. You can trust them, just not with her. Challenging success. A light green speck and imperfection on the outer rim of her right iris. It sparkles. <laughs> what is her plan? You can't draw a sound conclusion. The one who usually does says... She may not want to control the information. Sorry, she may want to control the information rollout, not to become a suspect. She may have a past she's escaping, unrelated to this case. You doubt it's something truly insidious. See, it's oddly moderate, probably compromised. <laughs> this is fucking great. I've been talking to myself long enough. Let's get back to it. Don't worry, it's only been four or five seconds. You've got this. Say out loud, miss, are you ma manipulating me? Don't say anything. Just close your eyes and let the moment pass. Oh, do we, do we go for it? Do we go for it? The silence broken. She exhales a little cloud of smoke and says, God, no. Not my favorite topic. Why was there a bullet in, in, in his head? Bullet. There's a silence. He, her brows meet in the middle for a pain frown. They shot him too. I'm not picking up any theater craft here, sir. The pause is sincere. I can't trust you, drama. Can't trust you, you fed fedoring, wearing, Cheeto-loving Redditor weeb. I can't trust you. They stripped his clothes and they shot him. You mean after they hanged him? I'm confused. Sorry. So am I. Were you aware that he had also been shot, miss? Things are starting to go a little over my head here. I thought he was hanged. I was not present when they did it. I don't know what happened. I just know what they told me. And Sylvie, the bartender. This is beginning to get confusing for you, too. And we don't like that. Where was she last Sunday night? Where were you when this happened? Cowering. I was cowering downstairs with Sylvie. That's it? Thank you. Huh. Thank you, the great Tristit, Triscuit, for the new sub. Welcome to the Rubba Dub Sub Club. The Wubba Lubba Sub Club. I haven't said that one in a while. Thank you, the great Triscuit. Thank you very much. An anonymous cheer use 100 bits for just a non 100. Thank you, anonymous cheer. Some dumbass has resubscribed for 10 months. Thank you very much. I just pulled a dryer lint sheet out of my pants. Well, my fingers feel fresh and smell fresh now. Wow. All right, cool. I didn't know that was there. <laughs> overreaction, the ultimate comedy. Did you think that was overreacting? I, I didn't think that. Sorry. I try not to overreact to things. Uh, thank you again, some dumbass, for the time of three sub, and thank you, Zorgrox, for 100 bits. When di when I did that, I think I had some more in interjections by my thoughts. I think you got someone unlucky with that. Haha, <laughs> really cool movement, though. Oh, really? Oh, that would have been good. Maybe if they had been more leveled up or something, or maybe some of them are too high level. I'm not sure. You don't have to share these things. So it's just it's just a stream of consciousness on these streams, man. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, so if they're if they're white, that means we can't we can't do it again, right? Or did did we find out that it's composure interfacing? Remember the time we almost got a sandwich? We almost got a sandwich. The these are the white phone white checks. Those on white are real. Okay, the what ones on white? It just says they're right at the bottom. I thought we tried this and it turned out that it wasn't like that though. Like how can we try the ice cream maker again? Oh, because we, we reloaded it, like the fucking Redditor that we are. Sorry, my bad. I 
kind of want to try to stop the expression from happening. Okay, we didn't we didn't um, pay for the room. Talk to size. I don't want to. I don't want him to know that we know he's a liar. But if there's no way other way to to um, progress the investigation, then okay, then I will. But yeah. Can we sing our karaoke again? Ah, uh, the smallest church in San Sian, right? The cafeteria manager is waiting for you to rec acknowledge that he recognized the song. Yeah, the church is actually my past. Oh yeah, we didn't talk to people. The church is actually my past. The church is actually my life. The church is actually my love. Things are really bad with it. I fucking rocked that shit. It was all right. He's, he doesn't sound like he thinks you rocked it. So dude, it might, I might start letting people up there again. Okay. Did you trust everything you were, did you drop Boy, everything you were so grateful to you, officer. <laughs> okay, can we, can we wash the jacket in here? No. Wait, which performance is It's great to see you again, officer. The, uh, My wife can't wait to thank you. Lizard, oh, Lizard her. Blaine. Lizard Blaine. I don't even know how to thank you for finding my husband and helping him out. I hope we haven't been too much trouble for you. Just doing my job, ma'am. It was a truly epic long distance trek. It was on my way. It was just on my way while I was working in the case. I'm basically also a cryptozoologist now, number three. Here, I want to give you a small token of my gratitude. She hands you a thin ribbon held together by a silver bird skull. It's a tie, mesca in origin, and the pin is an antique, quite special. The little silvery knob holding the tie together feels warm in your hand. It's in the shape of an avian skull with eight eyes. Cool. You could ask her about this when you get the time. It's probably a cryptid, but the phasmid, of course, is more important. Okay, so can we talk to you now and say, hey, we checked your traps? Haha, <laughs> nothing like the gratitude of a good woman. Now then, what can I do for you? He gives you a gruff pat on the shoulder. He tries to play a cool or mean professional, but inside this, this man is itching for some news on those traps. So I checked all the traps. Good, okay, he breaks his calm and, and one of them was empty. Completely empty? The cryptozoologist's eyes grow wide. Yes, there was nothing in the trap. No locusts, no phasmid. No locusts, but no phasmid either. That's not ideal, but he rubs his chin. The old woman's face lights up. It just means the insulidian phasmid is even more clever than we thought. She's engaging in a well-known self-deception called motivated reasoning. You should correct them. Of course, the detective whispers to himself, more clever. Yes, the fa fan phantasmodia picked off the locusts and escaped. This is good news, though we'll have to reconsider the design of the traps, make them more secure. His companion sighs, another trip to the reeds. Yes, that's exactly what it is. What a deft hunter, this phasmid. It's not very scientific to, re to reason backward from a conclusion you want to be true. Humph, I appreciate your concern, officer, but please leave this to the experts, unless you have an alternative hypothesis you'd like to venture. Actually, no, his tone changes. Excuse me for getting emotional, this is a big deal for us. You've helped us twice now and brought some great news to my gratitude and the gratitude of the Society Cryptozoologique de Revachol is yours. Heartfelt gra gratitude, but does it feel like closure? What really happened? Thank you, it's an honor, he says with a straight face and turns to you. We should probably return to our main investigation here. This is this has been refreshing, but helping cryptozoologists isn't really a priority for our organization, is it? Lieutenant looks out the window impatiently. Damn it, Lieutenant. Have you no intellectual curiosity? Develop an alternative theory about the missing locusts. Insulted moral. When did we insult moral? What was that? That was interfacing, right? I'm pretty sure it was interfacing. By the way, what's up with the Yusuke overlay overlay uh, profile pic? I dig it. Uh, Q2 has has done this. I think every single stream. I don't think Q2's missed a single one. Um, to to replace uh, the the uh, the original one for our art cop run. I don't know how Q2 has done it, but yeah, like they're gorgeous. There's so many of them. When we're over the run, we'll we'll put them all on the screen and we'll we'll do a we'll do a vote to see which one is the best one, just for fun. 
but they're all fantastic. Inland Empire and Volition. Damn. Nice. Ah, fuck it. We're gonna, we're, we're gonna, I can just level up again afterwards. Hello. Lena and I were just discussing the design we'll of a new win. trap. Consider the way the empty trap was disturbed as, the, as though shaken. Most likely the hands of a young person, hands small enough inside the trap too. You should ask the red-headed boy, Kuno. I think a little hooligan called Kuno may have stolen the locusts. A little hooligan? But what would a child want with bugs? A woman, a, a shadow of worry passes over the woman's face. Oh, my dear Moral, you've been an old man for too long. Kids love to torment insects almost as much as they love to torment old folks. I'll talk to the little gremlin and see if anything comes up. Delinquent's my favorite. It doesn't sound like he, it's really his favorite. Oh, you've been such a dear to us. Please let us know whatever you turn let us know whatever you turn up. I have a feeling we're getting so close. The man turns to his companions. Well, I see you got all the help you need. I'll see you tonight at my place. Let's play Suzranti, but no more field trips for me. After the, after this. After this is your last chance to talk to Gary. Oh no, really Gary? The woman's voice is a little shaky suddenly. We're getting somewhere here. I'd love to play Suzerainty, but Lena, I'm sorry, but you're not getting anywhere. There was some kids. I know the little mutants around here. Leave anything out in the open and they'll steal it. Even if it's bugs, he looks at his tea. Moral, it's been fun, really, but I need a bath and, a, and I have deliveries to handle. When this tea is done, I gotta run. No, no, no need to apologize, Gary. You've been more than helpful. I'll have to take a rain check on that game of Suzerainty today, though. We're gonna follow this through. I'll get going. All right, Gary. Gary. Very generous of you to help us out, officer. I'm sure glad to be back from that little excursion. I mean, officers. I was going to talk to Titus, but he's not yes. here. Darn. Oh, well, I guess I can't do it, chat. Ori, Will and the Wisps has gone gold. Fuck yeah. Oh, nice. Okay, I'm not stealing the from the knickknack stand. Um, I don't remember where this is. Maybe because it's late now. Okay, we can go and um, novelty dice maker with shivers. We can go back there and try that when we go back for the for the um, the ice cream thing, the ice cream freezer. Uh, so I think we're gonna we're gonna say goodnight and then we're gonna go and try and hit on Lillian. But what are our tasks? What else do we have to do? Call Alice back in the day for owner from the armor's armor's owner. Snow covers the white and on blue police livery of the livery of the motor carriage. The white colors are nearly melt together. Wait, why am I why am I even thinking about this? Was I supposed to do something important, something murder related? There's always something important. Doesn't mean you can't take a moment to admire this piece of machinery. This is a Cooper's Kinema, the Cooper's Motor Corps follow up follow up to their highly successful workhorse. Cooper's 40 and the answer to the LUM's Racing Bread February series? With its air-cooled rear-mounted 12-cylinder compression ignition engine driving the rear wheels through a four-speed manual gearbox, the Kinema is able to reach 100 km per hour in 13.5 seconds and go on a top speed of 180 km an hour. Really? It doesn't look like you could do that. Won't it roll over on the first sharp corner? The high center of balance is offset by a large battery bank mounted at the bottom of the cabin, feeding all the auxiliary systems and making the Kinema effectively a mobile power plant. This tech talk is really rubbing me the right way here. Due to a steep, quite a steep price tag, it is very unusual to see one in police library. That machine really puts the loco back in locomotion. Point to the vehicle. Very cool. Mm-hmm. Lieutenant smiles ever so slightly. He wants to take a closer look. What's it packing there? Oh, no, we're going to break it. A fine machine, run your hand over the smooth metal surface. What's it pack in there? 130. 
an advancement of the key r 18 gu engine of the cooper's 40 to be precise it must be an advancement of the <laughs> yeah you know it the lieutenant seems surprised just the basics cast iron block swerve chamber injection dual chains driving overhead camshafts two valves per cylinder hydraulic valve lash adjustment uh, yes, that's right. He stares at you in surprise. I am very impressed that you know these things. A fine machine. Run your hand over the smooth metal surface. Yes, there's gentleness in the lieutenant's voice as his eyes run over the vehicle's contours. An extraordinary machine. Helium headlights would improve the range and quality of the visual field a lot. Ever thought about switching to helium headlights? Actually, I have a pair at home. I just haven't got, gotten around to fitting them yet. I need to lay some wiring to, for, for the ballasts first. So if we ever get this case solved, maybe we can do it together? You want to help? He glances at you and smiles. Thank you for the offer. That might be fun. Let's do the case first, though, all right? Oh, man, we got a date with Kim later. He liked the idea. Oh, damn. Hey, Volition, when are you, when are you going to tell us that we can't trust everyone when we're talking to Kim? We're too emotional. We've been compromised. We've been Kimpromised. Still no word, I'm afraid. I must be frustrating. Was anything else going on? Oh, he still doesn't know. God damn it. Kim, you should go to bed. I'm going I'm going to bed and you're going to have to walk all the way back by yourself. What if something happens to you? Good night, Kim. Send him away for the night. It's getting late and it's snowing. Time to call it a day. Good night, officer. We'll meet in front of the shack in the morning. Enter the shack. Electrochemistry impossible. Attempt to stop the expression from happening. Shaved, know the origin, standard world eye. Electrochemistry. I'm sorry I haven't got these memorized. There's no way I can remember all the, all the different clothes. I think this is going to be, uh, we have to get double six this year to do this. Oh, it's up to 8% now. Close. Close. So close. Thank you, Assistant Weeby, for the 513 sub. Wait, I refresh the page and I can do this again. Lol. Hey, Joe, enable. Oh, yeah, yeah. There you go. It came through eventually. I'm glad it fixed itself. Assistant Weeby. No, yeah, yeah. Oh no, no. All right. So what do you what do you want? You the want are beginning to die down. suggestion? Oh, she needs to bastards. go on a date with another drunk badly. Simmer down. Simmer down, bastard. Okay, so we want suggestion. That's minus one suggestion. It's hard mode. How badly do we want this date, chat? Do we have any suggestion? Bonus from thoughts. Oh, shit. You're a Redditor? <laughs> We're Redditor trying to get a date, chat. Here we go. 3%. Damn. Alcohol makes closeness possible. Let's connect. Alcohol, connect. I'm not sure I'm following you. There's confusion in your eyes. Get hammered with me on a date. Drunk date. It'll be nice, I promise. She bursts out laughing. That's a good impression. You really cracked me up, officer. Now how can I help you? She doesn't even understand you asked her out. Maybe perhaps you're too sober to pull it off right now. Try again later. 
All right, let's get suggestion. Um, how many points do we have? Six. I don't want to spend all of our points on this. Let's see if it gets easier. If it doesn't get easier after a couple, then we're gonna stop. The waves are beginning to die down. Look at those little bastards. Simmer down. Simmer down, bastard. <laughs> Since the dawn of mankind, Al Ghul has watched over the reprocreation of our species. Lay with me. Let's celebrate the goal. Now there's a whole shipment of big words. She looks at you from head to toe. May mankind, may mankind be plentiful. I guess. Can I get back to my nets now? She doesn't understand. You have minus two from from uh, from Dotsy. I know. The waves are beginning to die. Oh, now it's at eight percent. Look at those little bastards. <sighs> Simmer down. Simmer down, bastards. I want to be close to you, and there's, n but there's, and there's but one way to intimacy. Eh? She looks. She looks confused. What? Drunk date. Tap on your throat. All we need is booze. The rest will follow. Funny, funny sailor joke. She nods without smiling. Sorry if I'm not laughing out loud, but the comedy has worn thin over the years. Great. Now you reminded her of her husband. God damn it. All right. I think we're done. I don't think we're going to put more points into this. Remove the thought? Nah. What thought is it anyway? It's Wompty Dompty Dom Center. We're not removing the fucking Wompty Dompty Dom Center. Fuck that. This is the best one. The best one. There's no one better than this. Okay, are there are there any other checks we can do right now that we haven't done? We can go barred door. I thought for sure there was one other thing that we could talk to somebody when we were, uh, when Kim wasn't around. Let's just look closer to chair. How many continuing the chores? It's just so she quietly humps herself. The buzz of electrolytes blends together with the slow rumble of the ocean waves at night. There's a gap where the name of that song should be. You should ask her about it right now. You're still up? Yes, I can't really sleep anymore. Only a few hours a night it happens when you grow older. She sloshes the water in the bucket around for a bit. My suggestion is don't. Don't grow any older than you already are. That's old enough. She smiles. What's troubling your mind? What's the song you're humming? A lullaby my mother used to sing. I sang it to my kids too. It's an old Samaran children's song. What's it called? Surrender to the night, she replies, slowly rocking back and forth. That's kind of grim for a children's song, even if it is a lullaby. Sounds nice. Yes, yeah, she nods. It does. I found that jacket I was looking for, but it's filthy. Could you wash it for me? I can wash it for you. She's just look, looking at the looking the jacket over, but it's going to take about half an hour. Think you can stay put for that long? Hell yeah, yeah, I'll wait. Well, I'll hand it over then, and I'll see what I can do. Damn, this this old lady's so nice. Must say, I'm proud of this one. She nods, handing the jacket back to you. It's pretty nice underneath all that filth. I hope you take better care of it than its last owner. Does it give a suggestion? No. Pain threshold and half light. Okay, we're gonna give it back. Because that's what honest art cop would do. Tequila sunset. Okay, here's your jacket, fresh washed. My jacket? Yeah, the one you had me clean the seagull shit off of. He looks. A look of consternation crosses the man's face. He looks at you, then his bottle, then back at you. What the fuck are you talking about, tequila? What the fuck are you talking about? Rosemary, what the fuck is Tequila talking about? Aye, that's the jacket you stole two weeks ago from the kid who was making it with his gal on the beach. That's disgusting. I've never done anything like that in my life. You're both delusional, he scoffs. Fallen? That's medium concept stuff. It becomes abundantly clear to you how this man managed to lose his keys, business, friends, and girlfriend. So I'm, I'm calling it. It's neurological. Your loss. I'm keeping the jacket for myself. I went through some dark shit to get this for you. Take the fucking jacket. <laughs> you know what? Fine. Maybe I can pawn it for some booze. I right, good thinking. All right, there we go. Ooh, all right, so I 
Is Kuno still out there? I don't think so. Let's go see if Kuno's there. I don't want to waste the time. Hope we don't like run into Kim on the way back. That would be awkward. Quite a bit of money, 100 real, nice. Oh, he's here. Hey, Kuno. Did you steal some locusts? Kuno saw your wheel backhand! Sweet graffito action, pig! Kuno likes that delinquent shit! Yeah, you like art, Kuno? Papa's bad to the bone, Kuno. Rotten to the core. Thank you, Kuno. I really appreciate it. Yeah, you like art, Kuno? Fuck no. Art's shit. He takes a step back. Write in an imaginary notebook. Got it. Art's shit. That's right, pig. He looks pleased. Shit. Empathy. Figure out what's going on with this kid. <sighs> Fuck. You wouldn't have to know anything about any missing locusts. No, Kuno doesn't give a fuck about bugs, so he knows locusts are bugs. Oh my god, the little one seems distraught. I told you that shit is lame. Shut up, C. Now they're gonna take you to lame prison. She sounds like she's about to cry out of disappointment at Kuno's newfound lame lameness. What's this about? Deny everything, Kuno. You need to lawyer up. Kuno's not gonna say anything without his lawyer present. <laughs> Okay, what's, who's your lawyer? There's definitely something going on here. Remember his pig's head shack? You should check it out. I don't remember his pig's head shack. What? I want to discuss the body with you again. What about, where's the rest of his armor? Besides his queer ass, I got that. Kuno doesn't give a shit about the armor. How come? That fuck gimp had one thing majorly wrong with him. He's a fucking mutant. A mutant? Do you remember how he looked? Fucking growth hormone shit. He's a giant. The armor's too big for any man. He drills his temples with his fingers in some strange, aggressive gesture. Kuno doesn't give a shit about that freak armor. Kuno threw that shit away. What do you mean, threw it away? Kuno tried to get the helmet on. It was too big. He performs a kickoff on the imaginary helmet. Kuno kicked that shit in the sea, rugby style. That sh that shit means nothing to Kuno. You threw it in the sea? Yeah, that, that shit means nothing to Kuno, he repeats. Kuno doesn't give, give a shit about material shit. Kuno's a fucking monk. You want to fuck on someone about that armor? Go fuck that m the mustache union fuck. Fuck, the jolly troubadour shit at the gates. Who do you mean troubadour? Yeah, cock and boots. You know, that jolly union cow fucker came around talking about cows or some shit. Came around pretending like he cares about cows. Yes, you met him in the gates. The one with the boots and the jolly smile. You mean Manana? Yeah, he's the one you want to talk to. He's fucking crazy about that, ar about that armor shit. Come in here, pretending... He, like, he likes cows trying to catch a peep at Kuno's armor. Curious, my liege. Why did Kuno feed you this information? And you're just telling me this out of your kindness of your heart, Kuno? Yeah, Kuno's doing charity today. Kuno's day. Kuno feels sorry for you, loser pig. Kuno's doing pity now. Still seems suspicious. He may have had, had it in for that guy. Or you may be paranoid. That is also a possibility, sire. Do you know who he was? Kuno's fuck gimp. He picks up a rock. Kuno uses the fuck gimp for target practice. He's trying to hide the fact that he doesn't know. I meant who he was he was before he died. Kuno knows what you meant. Kuno's not a snitch, that's all. He tries he shakes his head clearly offended, trying to make Kuno sing into the popo phone. <laughs> Do you know how he got up there? Probably climbed. Kuno was busy down the road when that shit went down. So you didn't see it happening? You heard Kuno. Kuno wasn't even in Martinez. Kuno wasn't in Revachal. He puffed himself up. Kuno wasn't regional. The city's too large for him to have left, but he wasn't here either. So where was he? You didn't really leave the city. Where were you? Told you, pig bacon. Kuno doesn't do regional. Kuno's been to, been to places you wouldn't dream of. Fucking Mesca, or I don't know, some other place. Night City. Kuno was in fucking Night City. There is no Night City anywhere. That sounds like the name of a city in some pulp science fiction novel. That's a fictional city name. Night City doesn't exist. Why you gotta be riding Kuno's ass? You haven't been where Kuno's been. You haven't been in Kuno's head. 
You want to know where Kuno was? You want to know what Kuno's been fucking up to? Don't tell him that, Kuno. It's lame. It's not fucking lame. Kuno's building Kuno City, Night City, Rage City, the City of Rage. That's it. And it's not lame. Lame? That's the name of Kuno City, bitch. Get the fuck off Kuno's back. This shit ain't about that. It's impossible to deduce what it is about, at least for the moment. If it's important, it'll come up later. Focus on the case. Have you seen anyone suspicious around? Just a lone pig trying to sugar talk some kids. That's That seems pretty fucking suspicious to Kuno. Yeah, you tell that Figari Kuno? Looks like you're a Figari now, whatever that means. The suspicious question doesn't really work in, an, in antagonistic situations. There are contusions all over his body. Did you do that? Fuck you, fuck you talking about. What is this... Con con shit. <laughs> you guys' head like it's suddenly hurting. He says you're stupid, Kuno. They want to make you stupid again. A contusion is a bruise. I'm talking about the marks your stones left on the corpse. Oh, did Kuno make your shit sniffing harder? Obstruction of shit sniffing? He lets go of his head, suddenly feeling better. This is Kuno's kingdom. Kuno fucking rules here. More on this later, sure. You're testing Kuno's patience here. Get lost, Foglet. I have more questions about the crime scene. Kuno, I found your shot. Oh, okay. You found Kuno's secret door to Kuno's secret shack. It was closed for 5,000 years. How the fuck did you get in? I pushed the panels aside, Kuno. And then what? You fucking there? You fucking Kuno's kingdom? He's trying to fuck... He's trying... He's trying a fuck you again, Kuno. What was with the pig head? Oh, that? He picks up a bit of dirt from his fingernail. Kuno decapitates pigs. That's just a Kuno demo tape. Were you trying to send a message of some sort? Demo tape, like some kind of musician? Cool pig head. I liked it. I got one too. This one. Point to your head. It's... Sh <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. Uh, he looks confused. What is this shit? Fucking on yourself? This is a this is a weird level shit. Kuno doesn't go there. Fuck your shit back to normal. What is this? Well played. No one saw that coming. I found a plate covered with powder residue. Know anything about it? That's where Kuno gets his daily hit of electric. Kuno Shazam. Kuno rides the fucking lightning in there, pig. Bet you'd like to ride lightning too, wouldn't you? You feel tired and old, but you could have that sparkle in your eyes. What's with the tube of ma magno magnesium? Magnesium, Kuno? It's a vitamin pig. Don't you know anything? He looks at you like you just pointed at the sun and asked what it was. You could use some. It's magnesium, right? Yeah, it's it's the mag. You fucking need that shit to stay on top of your game. Kuno goes through like a tube a day, rips mag like a motherfucker. You could use a barrel. <laughs> Don't teach him, Kuno. He's going to use it against you, Kuno. I know all about magnesium. I rock it all the time. He looks at you, eyes bulging. You're not getting this pig. It's, it completely takes away the hangover. It's like you didn't do anything. Like you stayed home playing with your choo-choo. Fuck you, pig. Don't do mag. You're gonna OD and you're gonna fucking die. I've heard enough of this. All right. I really don't like Kuno. Kuno's talking about your shack again. I've heard enough about this. All right. More questions about the crime scene. The ladder, ever climb it, points a ladder on a tree. Look at that fucking shit. He screeches. You trying to get Kuno killed? So you would say that ladder is unclimbable? Fuck this Kuno now. Kuno's not a fucking acrobat. It's a trap, Kuno. Don't climb it, Kuno. What's in the greenhouse over there? He don't know. He shrugs. Kipped ass gardener used to work there. Kipped is a prog pejorative term used to describe people of South Seminese or Areopagite descent. It used to be a common first name among the Areopagites or Pagites of Il Ilimara? Not so much anymore. Hold on, the gardener used to work there? Yeah, that's what Kuno said. She couldn't handle the heat, so she took off. Kuno can take it. He fills his lungs with rancid air. His eyes get a little watery. Shit's nothing to Kuno. The gardener, she's actually not a gardener. Turns out she's a u union fixer. The fuck does this have to do with the, with the Kuno? Kuno doesn't give a shit about who she is. Alright, let's try empathy. 17%. Where were you when we were trying to get a date with, with, with Lily? What the hell? What the hell? It's not Kuno. It's Kuno Essie. Interesting. How? Kuno Essie is by far the worst of the two. Kuno has no problem being near you, but the other hides behind the fence, afraid of her life, like she's done something, something very bad. She came up with that psychopathic scheme of screaming for help before. Kuno just wanted to talk to you about his name. Kuno Essie was the one who wound up wound him up and directed him all in all kuno respects madness you cannot help to, uh, to outdo her on that front you must win yourself a few minutes with him alone act on it try and separate them kuno psst. what the, fu the fuck are you whispering about he whispers back he's whispering too he's going with it but watch what happens fuck you foglets whisper fuck you foglets whispering about she puts extra stress onto that word expecting it will make you uncomfortable 
If Kuno wants to whisper, he's gonna fucking whisper, okay? He turns back to you and hunkers down. Let's whisper, pig. This is it. You've got him, but be careful. You can f still fuck this up. Don't make Kuno look bad in this. Kuno, listen to me. She's trying to control you. We gotta get you out of here. What's up with her? She's terrifying. Crazy scary. Phew. I'm glad she's out of our hair. She's fucked up. Hmm... Okay, one or two. Seems like two is the winner. All right, two. What's up with her? She's terrifying. Crazy scary. Crazy, he whispers tensely. You don't know the half of it. She's not crazy. She's insane. Dangerous. She smoked a man. She's done people in. Probably even pigs. Stop talking to him, Kuno. I'm fucking warning you. You're going to get us in, into shit. She understands what you're trying to do. Yo, see, he pops his head up. Did Kuno not tell you? Kuno told you. Kuno talks to whoever he wants. He hunches down again. Talk, pig. Kuno's got it under control. You did it. You did it. They're separated. He's even turned his back to her so she can't read his lips. What do you mean she smoked someone? You think she has anything to do with the dead man? You said she's an... If she's the killer... <laughs> Uh, what do you mean she smoked someone? Kuno means she killed someone. That's that's right. He's a killer. He stares at you intently like actually a killer. His little green eyes are fixed on yours. He's meant everything he said before, but right now he not only means it, he is, he is sincere. Really? Isn't she too small to overpower someone? Are you getting this? You think I'm fucking telling you a joke here? How hard do you think it, it is to kill a fat ass? He pokes you in the gut. Sweet talk him, then knife him. She pro she's probably killed a pig too. I mean, I'm pretty sure she has. Okay, how many cops did she kill then? Forget Kuno said that. Kuno was just shitting. Kuno was just running his mouth. Kuno's stupid like that. He feels eyes on the back of his head and stops. A cop would be too large for her to overpower, but a determined child of her size can still kill the vulnerable, the elderly, the homeless, or other children. I wish Kim was here. The creature peers at you both from over the fence. There's something searching in her eyes. Kuno, do you think it's possible that she's killed other children? Kuno falls silent. He does not look at you when he replies. Kuno, uh... That's that's what Kuno is starting to think. Yeah, you think she she has, she has anything to do with the dead man? Yeah, she would like to fuck him up, but she didn't. Kuno wasn't around, and she was with Kuno. Where were you? Look, Kuno's gonna put you at ease. We didn't do it. He speaks the truth, my leash. You think she's insane? Yeah, she's psycho. He leans in even closer. None of that, ki none of that kitty psycho cat burning shit. She does the real deal. What's the real deal? Snuff radio shit. Believe me, pig. You don't want to know. And he doesn't want to even think about it. This is this isn't just another boast. What's that language she uses? Napa Kimpi Fagari. Fuck no. She says it's the song of her people or some shit. What people? Crazy people. The fucking Nakes? I don't know. Sounds boreal. Like something from the tundra. And Taiga covered Katla Isola. <sighs> far, far away from here. As far as possible, really. Do they have red-haired people there? You mean evil little red-haired people like her? Yes, they do. The Suris have the, that ginger gene. Kuno, could she be Suris? Suris? Suris, like the man, that man from Hemdal shit. The kid lights up. She could be. She could be that Hemdal shit. Revachal does have a small Suris Sur, community. Or she climbed in a yakberry crate and was shipped over accidentally. Is she your sister? Fuck no, she's not my sister. She's just a stray who got in like a mad dog or some shit. Stray? Yeah, she was just there. He points to the apartment building behind the fence. What was that, Kuno? The little one twists her neck. Sorry, twists her neck looking at the building. Kuno flinches and lowers his voice even more. She was in the hallway dripping wet by the fucking shoe rack in the dark. A shoe cupboard just off to the right. Have you been to this place? That hallway there with the janitor's closet? Yeah, that's the place. She was just balled up near the closet, psycho style. Why was she dripping wet? Kuno's got no fucking idea. Her hair was all wet. I think she's, she pissed on the floor too. She was there for three days in the corner every time Kuno went out. You said she got in. How? I don't know. Someone left the door open. Kuno comes home and she's sleeping under the desk under a pile of clothes like a dog. What about your parents? Wow, baby's really upset. Kuno's dad doesn't give a shit. Doesn't even see her there or think or think it's fucking Kuno. He points at himself. Shit's all on Kuno. Kuno. Kuno S. Two of a kind. Why is she called Kuno S then? Because she fucking looks like Kuno. You don't know her name? No one knows her name. Kuno told you that shit was... the shit was Psycho Killer. How are you dealing with all this? How's Kuno dealing? How's Kuno dealing? Kuno's dealing just fine. He doesn't need you fucking with any of it. C doesn't either. 
Kuno's got this shit under control. He spits through the gap in his front teeth. She needs professional help. You can't do this alone. You need backup. I'm here for you. Okay, kid. Okay, he's not going to accept perfect. Well, maybe he will, actually. One is harder. Two is more neutral. Three is, eh. I kind of want to go two. Listen, listen, he points to his eyes, then yours. C is is Kuno's go-to. Kuno's protecting her. You fuck with C, you fuck with Kuno. You threaten her, you threaten to take her away. This is what it all comes down to. He needs you to take him seriously now. The boy looks you in the eye. Black pupils trying to focus. I'm going to kill you. I'll run... I'll run when you put the cuffs on her, sneak up on you later and fuck you up, you understand? Understood, Kuno. I can respect that. Who are you kidding, kid? You can't take down a man several times your size. You'll end up dead yourself. I can respect that. All right, he wipes the sweat off his brow. Now we can do business. Business? Yeah. What do you want? Kuno could hook you up with... He starts no longer He starts no longer whispering. Don't hook him up with that shit, Kuno. See, relax. He respects the Kuno. Kuno made him respect the Kuno. You respect the Kuno, he turns back to you. You get all kinds of shit. Kuno is going to gonna get you hooked on illegal narcotics if you run a little errand for the kuno get you get you hooked pig get you hook get his hook in you then kuno gonna get you hooking for more cash in big style pig hooker pig hooker that's right kuno's a candy store for pigs now get ready to be rewarded he concludes spreading his hands like a baker presenting a selection of freshly baked pastries what was that about running you an errand and illegal narcotics kuno Kuno got, gets it from his dad. Kuno and his dad are major suppliers. His eyes bulge. Their veins reach out like tree branches. That's where Kuno gets his lightning on. Problem is, Kuno and his dad had little falling out. Now junkies clawing at Kuno's door. Streets going mad. Kuno's got to throw his dirty popo man at it. Okay, okay. Hmm, this is very interesting. Okay, okay. Dirty popo man is you. He nods at the building behind him. In there is Kuno's violent dad on steroids. Kuno's dad does steroids and speed. If you can take him, you can have half the speed. Who is your dad, Kuno? Kuno's dad Kuno's dad is a fucking monster, he says proudly. He's the most violent man in Revishal. He doesn't give a shit about a single thing. He drinks too. Are you sure you can take the most violent man in Revishal in your condition? Don't expect to t talk this one down. There are some situations your mouth can't get you out of. You won't sweet talk your way around this man. Good thing this psycho drug boss is strictly optional. <laughs> How much fuel are we talking about? Like half, he says very confidently. Half of what? A baggie. But like in this vial. That's half a gram, sir. Half a gram? Yeah, the co the confidence is unwavering. Half a G. Want it or not? But that's not very much material at all. Fuck you talking about. Half a G? This shit is giant. Grade A shit. So clean you can barely see it. You can barely see it because there's barely any. I made up my mind, Kuno. And this is what's going to happen. Okay, Kuno's listening. I'm going I'm going in there, all guns blazing, to get that speed, because I need it. I'm going in there, but not for the speed. I'm going after the most violent man in Revishal. I'm going in there for justice. I'm a narc, Kuno. I'm going to confiscate that crap. I'm going in there for justice. I'm a narc, Kuno. I'm going to confiscate that crap. Lie, you need the speed. <laughs> Two. Sure, whatever. If you survive, make sure you bring that shit back to Kuno. Kuno's almost out. You wouldn't like the Kuno when he's out. Just... Get in the apartment building. Kuno knows you've already fucked your way in. Kuno knows everything. He aggressively points at his eyes. Go to room 12, first floor, and kick down the door. Police violence style, Kuno style. And then it's action time. You're locked in the room with violent fuckhead. That's it, he concludes. Next time Kuno sees you, you better have his shit. Alright, Kuno doesn't fucking care. Alright, I'm waiting for I'm waiting for Kim. Kim has to be with us for that. Has to be. Sound of melting snow dripping off the roof. It's strange. crawling with locusts in here all around you the hisses and trips of locusts fill the musky air the earth and floor of the shack has been shaped into mounds of mud dotted with lo with little holes for windows like skyscrapers spires of dirt and sand rising accommodations for their insectoid inhabitants sounds like you found the locust detective what is this heaps of leaves are rotting among the mud cake towers dozens of little locusts feed on them buzzing away with vicious joy kuno has really outdone himself here it's an ode to self-expression it's the work of a self-taught visionary. I should go and ask him to stop then. Finish thought. <laughs> uh, thank you, Renua, for the new sub with Prime. Thank you very much. Welcome to Prime Time. Sorry, we're talking to Kuno, so uh, I didn't see it until now. Thank you very much, Renua. Welcome, welcome. 
This is my first playthrough, yes. Steam Boy. You missed it at show before. A gift came by and completely fucked a tree to pieces. He fucked the tree up. Fucked it good. It was porno. If you want to shut him down, you need to act decisively. It's Kuno. Use Kuno words. Stop using the K word. It belongs in the past. Total retards use language like that. Congratulations, Kuno. You just made yourself a retard. What the fuck? Okay. Oh yeah, kids, not approvingly, but does, but don't you mean desert gifts? Holy shit. <laughs> This is all superficial, kids. The race mystery runs deeper than you could uh, could ever understand. I wish I could... Okay, so I think number two is it, because that's the Kuno word, right? Like, that's not... One's not going to work. Three is just encouraging. Four is no way. And five, I'm going to... Uh, stop choking, Kuno. The Fagari's got you in a chokehold. Kuno's not fucking choking. He grabs his throat like he's choking. Choked you out there. Serves you right for using reactionary shit. All right, all right. Simmer down. I think we all learned learned out lesson one. Like, fuck you did. He lets go of his throat. Kuno's going to keep saying kip forever now. Kipped, kipped, ki he cough. He only gets two kips out before he coughs. Shit. The fuck did you want anyway? You got your, your fuck bag down. Now let's talk normal shit. Oh, you want to have a normal conversation? Yes, yes, Kuno wants a normal conversation. He even sounds a little plaintive now. Ask normal shit, please. I know you took the locusts from the traps the crypto cryptozoologist set up. Yeah, he says slowly, meaning your gaze was sullen defiance. Kuno took the bug, so what? So it wasn't the phasmid. A wave of disappointment washes over you. I was really hoping it would be the reed phasmid that ate the locusts, not you, Kuno. You say you don't give a fuck about bugs, and you go and build a whole bug town. It's not Bugtown, it's the City of Locusts, he says, enunciating every syllable. Locusts aren't just bug shit, they come out of the sky like the fucking like a fucking shadow. Shit the sands. Stop! She wails from behind the fence, then buries her face in her hands. Locusts coming down like a shadow. This must be the Night City, he mentioned. When you asked him where he's been, point to the shack. So, so that, in there, is Night City. Yeah, Locust City, City of Rage, City of Lights. There's a tug of war over the name for his fantastical city. It's almost too big for his imagination. The girl forces herself to watch again, the corners of her eyes twitching from discomfort. City of Rage sounds like a cool place. What are you, some kind of artist now? Whatever, kids, I just want to ask. City of Rage. Kuno the pig wants to help you, she moans. That's how lame it is. Please just don't say you're an artist. He, push he pushes his chest out. Maybe I am an artist. You hear that, everyone? I'm a fucking artist now. Oh, man, art Kuno. He's, he's picked his Kuno type. Did he just say I? Kuno usually calls Kuno Kuno. Hold on, did I hear you say hear you right? You said I. Nod. Making art is a worthy calling. I'm something of an artist myself. Oh my God, Kuno, he's gonna totally he's gonna make you totally lame in like three seconds. Don't let him, Kuno. Yo, fuck you. See, Kuno can be what Kuno wants to be. Kuno's his own man. Kuno's free. He tears at the buttons of his shirt, trying to rip them open. They don't give way. Kuno made himself into Kuno. Kuno can make himself into anything. Kuno can make himself into a pig if he wants. Kuno can make himself into a foglet. Is that too many asterisks? Kuno doesn't give a shit. Don't make yourself into a pig, Kuno. You'll have to take me away. A leaden silence fills the yard. In it, you hear snow melting, dripping from eve from the eaves, someone closing a window. So that's what this so that's what this is about. The girl depends on on the choices you make. That depends on the choices you make, young girl. Me and Kuno have discussed this. I promise I won't do anything. Without a word, she disappears entirely behind the fence. For once, the boy's lost for words. He's turned completely red now, with splotches of white beginning to appear across his face. You, you got him. Now convince him to leave the cryptozoologist traps alone. I need you to stop taking locusts from the from the traps. The cryptozoologists are trying to find something very important. Those locusts are bait. I have to ask, what does the city of locusts mean? What's going to happen to the locusts? I don't give a shit. I don't need the locusts anyway. Shit is all lame now. He turns toward the fence. He was right. The girl's face appears again above the fence just long enough to make eye contact with Kuno. She doesn't know whether to be glad because Kuno is finally convinced of the lameness or more worried because of his continued use of the first person singular. Kuno is Kuno, not I. 
I have to ask, what does the City of Locusts mean? It doesn't it don't mean anything, it's shit. Kuno just likes to focus with the Locusts. Kuno likes to concentrate on shit, build shit when he's zipping hard. Fuck, he turns his face up to the heavens. Pig, he says, finally lowering his gaze to meet yours. You really shouldn't have fucked with Kuno City. Now it's all fucking lame. What's going to happen to the Locusts? Kuno's gonna let the, let the fucking Locusts die. Okay, that's settled, I better be off. The fuck are they trying to catch anyway? He asks before you leave with the traps. The Insulidian Phasmid. Huh? He mutters to himself. He recognizes the name. Wait, you know what the Insulidian Phasmid is? Bitches think Kuno doesn't know shit. He says angrily, the fuck out of here. Kuno's tired of this shit. There's silence between the two children. They're not saying anything to each other, nor looking at in each other's direction. Wow. 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 Hugs and misses redeemed use 20k on literally nothing instead of I. <laughs> how is how is more more people have done that than enable AI? I think. Oh my god! All right. Thank you, hugs and misses. Marked is complete. There we go. Shocked and appalled. What does the Ayaya um, group uh, think about this? Everyone's saving up for tomorrow. Everyone's saving up tomorrow to do double to spend your coins on absolutely nothing instead of Ayaya. <laughs> oh man. When we get down to half a billion and, and we put one in, add 20,000 coins to Ayaya, like, like that's it. It's over. It's over. Puckered starfish, who is it? Who is who is best girl? Puckered starfish. Opinions on Kuno? He still seems like a brat, but like there was some development there. Lolly Joe. Lolly Joe is best girl and is the waifu. Of Puckered Starfish. Lolly Joe. Again. How are these cashins so popular? How? Oh, alright, so that's it for me, guys. So tomorrow we're gonna, it's double Ayaya or double Monocoin Day. Uh, so tomorrow's stream is probably gonna be a little bit disruptive. Uh, I'm not gonna do the, the final tally until the end of the stream. I'm, I'm not going to, um, I'm not gonna like, like individually take it down. We'll just add it up at the end. There will be a 10,000 cash in for tomorrow as a special occasion. Um, and that's it. Yeah, I think so. Thank you very much. I will see you guys tomorrow. And uh, maybe we'll finish this Golisium this week. I think it's possible. I feel like no. I feel like we're going to have another week of this, but we'll see. Maybe we'll finish it this week. But yeah, see you guys later. Have a good one.